on the tee from the USA, Phil Mickelson. At 46 years old, looking to become the second oldest winner ever of the Open. Old Tom Morris, back in 1867. He was just slightly older, but he was born on the same day as Phil Mickelson, the 16th of June. Can you believe that? Uh, Open was held just a little bit later in the year, that's why old Tom was older. On the tee from Sweden, Henrik Stenson. Looking for his first major championship. He's done everything else in the game. Looking to become the first Swedish male. Plenty of fine Swedish women. Lotte Neumann, Helen Alfredson, Annika Sorenstam, ten times. Anna Norquist recently. course we're on our way what a fascinating battle it's going to be though isn't it I'm so looking forward to this yesterday in round three they were paired together on the last group and Henrik got off to the better start Phil came back took the lead and then Henrik overtook him again at the end I think it could be nip and tuck again today beef birdie chance this would get a real roar and he's hit it, he's hit a good putt, he's hit a great putt. Well done, Beef. And he's milking it. Oh, you got to love this guy. Southgate, birdie chance over at the 12th. It's been a tricky hole all week. Get back to level par. Outside chance at the best. Oh, it's more than that. Beautiful. Well, they're starting to hold the putts now. Sunday afternoon at a, at a major is always when it always starts. So we'll hope to see a lot more of that. Brilliant for Matt. What a difference in 12 months. Schwartz on over birdie at the fourth. Done. Another chance for Michael Wright. Good shot into nine. Tough pin today, right on the back. Chances on virtually every green. Michael Wright has got another one. He's out in 32, four on the par, eight behind. Lovely card. What can he do in the back nine to set a target? Now the beef on the second. Hang on. Ah. Uh. I think he's okay there. Some sort of lie. He can get it on the green in two. Henrik Stenson, 12 under. Phil Mickelson, 11 under. Is it between those two or have the others got something to say? Stenson will be first to play, 153 left into the opening hole. Jamie Spence out with the final pair. And we had a long discussion beforehand, Jamie, and we decided in the end, no umbrella. Sun's out, Doogie. It'll be a lovely afternoon, I'm told. He's on a downslope here, Henry. You say 153. 
First time this week, really, the opening holes are into the wind, in off the right. But this downslope will help him keep the ball down to this back left flag. Good angle here for Henrik. Desperate to set his stamp on the day here, showing what he's out for business. That's a poor one from Henrik. Oh, miss hit it or under club. One forty one left for Phil. Needs to pitch it all the way into this breeze. He won't be chasing up this green. He learned something from Henrik's ball there, really stalled in the air. Talk about laying down a marker. You may not even have to mark that, just go up and tap it in. <laughs> what a start for Nicholson. That's the closest of the day. We've seen every single shot in here and amazing. Nothing phases him. Absolutely delicious. You couldn't have asked for a better start. Stand a good <laughs> two two short swings at the end of the round last night. We could have won on the first hole today. Henry will left with a tough two putt from off the front of the green. Mickelson guaranteed three. He isn't going to miss that. It's only eight inches away. And with perfect timing, the sun breaks through. We are expecting it to be a a sunnier, dry afternoon. Still with that seaside breeze, though. Perfect. Three of the last five winners of the Open have been in their 40s. Nicholson, one of them, 43. Darren Clark, Ernie Els, both these players in their 40s. Certainly not playing like they're in their forties, more like the twenties, especially Mickelson. A schoolboy out there. Always goes for subdued colours, Phil. Always has done. It's always blacks and, and browns, isn't it? You never see him in fluorescent orange. Thank goodness. Well, calm the nerves a bit when you stiff it at the first. Did you see and in, in Henrik's second shot, Jamie? Why it come up so far short? Just a missed club, or? He just stalled, Sam. I, yeah. I think it was just a bit of a mixture of maybe a slight misjudgment and a slight miss hit. He was off quite a steep downslope, so it wasn't easy. Watch him on the range, practicing with this wedge he's got with a very thick grip on it to help him with his uh, wrist positions. He was hitting that for about 15 minutes. How does that change his wrist position? Do you no know? idea. No, it's no got idea. a funny grip. It's got a very thick putter grip on it. He was in it beautifully. It's just a training thing. Obviously yeah, just a training about. thing, yeah. This is left to right all the way. Green's a little bit quicker today. Not easy putt, this. Left to right all the way. Anyone that's been short of this uh, putting surface today, we've seen putt up, and they've all come up way short, and Henrik's done the same there, Jamie. The man who was battling cancer a year ago, Matthew Southgate, fortunately fit and well, back playing again and playing very good golf. One of the great feel-good stories of this golfing season, and it's feeling even better.
Brilliant. Well done, Matt. Back to back birdies. Now one under par. That gets him up to 14th place. McElroy's lying fifth. There's movement out there. What do you need to get to to make the top two think about it? Eight? Nine? What do you think, you two? I, I don't think they're going to think about them unless they get to ten, double figures. Uh, they'll be, unless they drop a few. Laura? Well, if the weather stays like this, I think they'd have to, yeah, double figures at least. But if it does start blowing up and sun, and say a Rory can post over the net, if he can come back in four or five under, which is a, a massively tall order, but if McElroy sits there at eight or nine, when these guys have still got a good seven, eight holes to play, you never know. That was more exciting, Laura. That was, it. That was brilliant. <laughs> I like that. And not the kind of part that Henrik wanted for par on the opening hole. Missed it. <laughs> Advantage Mickelson. Absolutely brilliant approach from the Americans. So this is really just a tap-in birdie. And as Sam Lutrick was predicting, it is a two-shot swing. And Henrik Stenson's lead didn't last too long. Phil Mickelson back at the top of the leaderboard. It's brilliant start. It's early to hit the front, but he wouldn't, couldn't have asked for more, Phil. The way to the second tee, up ahead on the green, Andrew Johnston. <laughs> the unfortunate little kick there for Beef. McElroy on ten. Enormous tee shot. You have no idea how far down that is. My goodness me. Oh, it's another gorgeous iron shot. Laura. 328 yards that was, Sam. And just a mere flick and hello. If he can birdie 10 and certainly if he can birdie 11, could get really interesting. Grown from the Johnston supporters. Bogey five. Just an iron for Phil. Off the second tee, Black Rock, name of this hole. There's a reef just out there in the shoreline. 250 to the bunker down the left. Just short of that would be perfect. for Phil Mickelson. A few people on the beach getting a free look. Little bit near bikinis. <laughs> Hope not. A little bit of nerves here, Sam, don't you think? Yeah, that was a, a tester for Henrik the first. He failed on both counts, second shot and the putts. It won't deter him. 
Sometimes it just puts your mind in focus. You know, they were one shot lead, and all of a sudden you get slapped in the face, and you're one behind. It's like, okay, come on, we've got work on our hands. Bill Hurst is rolling that in for his par. Moving on. He started par par. Rory McElroy. This to go five under for the day. Oh. You can't do that. That is just on. He will. I don't think he can believe it. He's laughing, but he wants to damage himself after that. That was a well, a poor putt to say the least. Now, a lot of outlined the scenario. He's basically got to convert every opportunity. He's got to take every birdie chance to try to put pressure on the front two, and he's just missed that one. It's the captain for birdie. He was uh, <laughs> taking the mickey out of himself there when he said, get in. That was a poor one from Darren. A yeah, fine week for the captain. Mr. Clark. Blue sky, white clouds, just what you want for the final afternoon. Mike Johnson missing out on his birdie opportunity at seven. Zach stays at three under, nine behind the leader, but the leader has changed. Phil Mickelson now on 12 under, Henrik Stenson on 11, and still that six-shot gap to Bill Hassan third. Rory McIlroy climbing the leaderboard, but good chance missed at 10. Matt Southgate and Andy Sullivan, the two Englishmen, both two under for their final round into the back nine now. Francesco Molinari having a good week, and Captain Clark will be happy to see the Italian playing well this summer. Crosswind, and that's what's made it so difficult the last couple of days here at Royal Troon. Normally, the prevailing wind would be behind in the front nine, or most of the front nine, and into and the way home. Hasn't been this week. Couple of bunkers to negotiate between him and the pin here for Stenson. He's got to carry it 165 minimum. It's 170 to the flag. And as you say, Dugan, that wind is coming off the coast. So he's got to hold this up. And he's got to fly it all the way. Fine medium iron. Back to normal. Much better line in for Mickelson. He's six yards nearer the flag, 164. Out of the semi. That can help into the breeze. Keep the ball down. Can he do it again? Down the third hole. Andy Johnson just on the right hand. He's going to have 158. Hass has been a bit more aggressive. He's going to have 133. Neither taking the option of driver because I think that wind has changed now. It's more into than across and certainly not helping at all. Oh, 
Oh, lovely shot now. Chance to repair the damage from the last. And the Leafs going to like that. The, the crowd certainly do. Rare beef. Down the right. Yeah. Well, he's so far up there, he'll be able to maybe shove a seven iron out of there forward, run it up close to the green. This is the man in third, Bill Haas. Four year old from Charlotte, North Carolina. Six behind the leader. One ahead of Johnston. Maybe not for long, though. Yeah, he just hooked that seven iron Mickelson there into that wing. It just never went anywhere, and he's left himself with a shot that for normal golfers. Would have them shaking off a very bare lie over a bunker to a tight flag. But this is Phil Mickelson. A lot of guys have putt it between those bunkers, and you can almost get a little bit of a run round the shoulder, but not for Phil. Straight at it, he'll spin this. Does that make us? And that was, he has a long wedge that has no bounce on it. So for these tight fairway lies, you can just slip it under the ball like that. Just gorgeous. Another look at this. Just a little short swing. Boop. I mean, it was like there's no bunker there. Oh, how does it not go in? What a shot from Nicholson. Fantastic. Look at this strike. It just goes under the ball. There's no bounce. Normally you get a bounce there with your sand wedge and it would shoot it at least five, six yards further on. <laughs> Just breathtaking skill there from Phil Mickelson. A little bit reminiscent of that wonderful shot he played at Castle Stewart. Remember off his barest of bare lies in the Scottish Open. In the playoff. Yeah, in the playoff. Well, if uh, Stenson was in any doubt <laughs> that he's got a fight, he now knows. Have you picked yourself up yet, Jimmy, after that chip? <laughs> Great shot, wasn't it? There's not many could play that like that. Not, not even on a Monday morning. <laughs> Never mind second the whole last round of the Open Championship. And he loves playing off this turf, doesn't he? This is right to left. Good chance for Stenson. Uphill. You can give this a nice firm wrap. Couple of balls outside the right. I think it's important he holds this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. 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 What a day this is going to be. <laughs> Just the perfect response. Brilliant stuff. Has birdie chances to get to seven, five behind. Trouble is, it's five behind too, and that's more difficult, a lot more difficult. Oh, and he hasn't held it. These chasers have got to start holding some putts, and we've seen Rory le leaving one short in the jaws from six feet. That was an under-hit putt as well, so they're not making their own job any easier. McElroy's size tee shot. I think he's having a go at this anyway, it's not that bad a light. 
Oh, for goodness sake. Did you see where that went? That went round his left ankle. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, well. The 11th. How much heartbreak has it caused this week? Beef for birdie. Andrew Johnston moves into a share of third place. Two birdies in the first three, bogeyed the second, but he's off and running. Another shot par four at the third. Ditch across the middle of the fairway, 280 to reach that. So again, no real advantage in taking driver, although some may clear the burn and have a shorter shot in. Pin back left today on number three. Yeah, they both hit drivers here yesterday. The wind was much more behind them. It's just straight across here on the third. Two bunkers down the left, which can catch a hook. They'll be aiming down the right-hand rough and let the wind bring it back into the middle of the fairway. Down the middle. Right to left wind. Right to left wind. A huge amount for his confidence there. Stanton holding that part after Mickelson's chip. These two have a similar game plan all the way around, so you can see them taking the same clubs off virtually all the tees. Time for Phil. I couldn't tell. Go, 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 go. Almost in the fairway. First cut. Well done. Well done. Welcome back, James. Third shot for Rory McIlroy. Punching it out. Oh, dear. When Mark Kalkabekia won here, he was playing with David Ferty, and he was in those bushes in two, and he hit it to about 50 feet. And he first hit it on the run, hold it, missed the green and left at the next short side of himself, and knocked it in, went on to win. Sometimes it's just meant to be, isn't it? <coughs> Matt Southgate, another good putt from Matt. So much support for the big man after all that he's been through. Great to see him playing good golf again. But this really is a dream to be on the leaderboard on Sunday afternoon at the Open. Here's the beef. Par five. That's gorgeous. It just stays there. Doesn't want to kick left. Oh, that's a nasty wee kick. You can't see anything until it stops. <laughs> and that is perfect for the beef up the par five. You can reach from there. Fourth shot for Rory. Won't be a bad five, do you, will it, really, from where he was in two? Yeah, the problem is he can't afford them, Sam, can he? He missed a good birdie chance at the last. Now he's dropped one here. I think uh, any slim hopes for Michael Wright challenge for the Ch Claret Jug is just about gone. And you always say that with some trepidation about Rory Michael Roy. He can do miraculous things, but just would stretch the imagination a bit. Back to the leading pair. 
on the third. Right in the middle of the fairway, Henrik Stenson, and the pin is the middle left. With this breeze, it's in a great spot to get close. Same yardage as the first. One, five, three. Let's hope he hits it better than that one. Sure he will. Hold the eight for Henry. Straight across this breeze. Middle of the green, just hold it off. Dance it around the cup. Rory McIlroy has hold out for Bogey, incidentally. I had at 11. Good shot from Henrik. And while the leaders are still on the front nine, I was pointing out that the back nine at Truden this week is now the hardest back nine at an Open Championship since the last time we were at Royal Truden in 2004. No great surprise there, but it just shows the difficulty in trying to make up ground on the, on the back nine here. Well, he's coming from the, the best side of the first three holes. Obviously, a game plan for Mickelson. With these flags tight to the edges. 1-5-2 for the American. Mark James back with us. Not exactly a quiet start to the final round for these two, is it, Mark? No, I don't think they're uh, messing about, are they? It's um, whew, some good shots. OK. It feels to me, I was just outside, obviously, as though the teeth's gone out of the wind. I mean, it's still blowing virtually as hard as it has done all day, but it feels a little warmer and a, and a little more manageable all of a sudden. Look at that late hit. Brilliant stuff. Well, like a left-handed Hogan... Halfway down the downswing through impact. Modern swing. So I think these guys uh, have actually had the best of the draw all four days, which is quite an achievement. It's no, one, one, no wonder the field's strung out. so far that for his first birdie this to go three under short birdie attempt for Tyrrell Hatton and he's now going to the eighth and he's the only man in the field he's birdied it every day and he's three currently twos. tied sixth so yeah absolutely he's steaming through the field Well, I really got into golf after that 77 Open. Nicholas and Watson. Hopefully, we're going to witness something equally as special as that. Never thought I'd see that. You must have played in that, Jess. Do you know, I was just going to say, um, we've been talking about the oldest winners of a, um, an Open Championship, and in the third round I played with Jerry Payton and Roberto de Vicenzo, uh, which was not great for me. They were two of the sweetest swingers in the world ever at that time. Ying and Yang then. Yes, I was having a particularly swift day on the takeaway. Can you imagine what they thought of you? <laughs> <laughs> no worse than I thought of myself that day, Sam, I could assure you. They were just beautiful swingers and the strike was great. Oh. 
This is left to right early, and then it will come back the other way at the hole. Ah, oh, brilliant. <laughs> They're like a couple of heavyweight boxers, and they just keep landing punches, don't they? Fantastic stuff for Henrik Stenson. Look at the look in Bones' face. Where did that come from? I think we can forget anyone catching these two now. Just left edge here for Mickelson, which is a right way round for a left-hander. Play situation first in wins. Great chance for Mickelson there. Stenson knocked it in, put the pressure on him, and he missed it. Now one behind, and the lead is 13 under par. Massive open championship crowds. We've reduced the open little leaderboard there to two people now. <laughs> Just a birdie for Steve Stricker. That's a great pin there. See that? Slope, but the caddy's coming down. A long iron it just creeping in the right side of the pin. They'll turn right down to the whole side. Rory once again from the long grass on 12. You do have to feel sorry for Rory and uh, so many others who were just caught on the wrong side of the draw, as we all know it happens and opens, but that more than anything has ended his chances of a, another Open Championship as JB knocks it in to stay at five under. That's Denson, 40 years old. Shot at four, Guys, first please. of the par fives. Three wood, Jamie. Yeah, it's a surprise, Sam, isn't it? He can reach the bunkers down the left with this club. It's his go-to club, though. It's been working really well for him lately. So I expect to see it a lot more today. Narrow fairway, though, with this wind off the right and the angles all against them. Well, bunker just to the right of his ball is a 260 carry, so... He can carry that with that club. That's perfect. Absolutely dead straight. Well, Mickelson's drive here yesterday. He had a bit of a hook. Way right. Looks like it's the driver to me down here. It is, Jamie. Yeah. Hold on. Not so easy for the left-hander with this win. Coming off the right-hand side. So easy for the ball to get away from him left. So he's fighting that shot a little bit here. Perfect. Yeah, Absolutely perfect shot from Mickelson. Short 
quite a long one too. Carried it 303. Yeah, it's way up past the traps. That's probably just a five or six iron in there to this par five for Philip Alfred Mickelson. His wife's maiden name is McBride. Scottish connections, I feel. Ah, so Amy's got some Scottish heritage, but we, we can't really claim, claim Phil, can we? John Bradley Holmes. He's got the power to whip this way up into the air. He's cutting it in to hold it up against the breeze. Land it soft over that bunker, and it's a lovely shot. Steve Strickland already in that bunker. Now Michael Wright, 12. Almost every shot he's turning to JP as caddy and shaking his head, baffled as to what's happening today. That's long birdie putt at fourth. Good effort. Good luck for his fourth par, consecutive par. Well, a suspect chip. We've seen people miss this left today. Oh, that's shot across the face of the hole. Pretty much ends McElroy's charge. Bogey at 11, bogey at 12. Tough course to keep attacking and get results. Just too difficult. A chance for another birdie for Beef. Has that had a par yet? Three birdies and a bogey. Uh, Andrew Johnston. It's a fantastic start for him. Stricker in the bunker. Long bunker shot, but into the winch. This would be a piece of cake for him, really. Throw it all the way up to the hole. Yeah. Lovely shot. Matthew Southgate's knocked it on here in two. And an uphill putt for an eagle. This to get to minus three. Oh. Well, it's good effort. That'll put him minus two in 11th position. Well, he came through the field, uh, I think it was in the Irish Open, on the back nine of the last round, and he's played this back nine in three under so far. And what a charge. I finished fourth that, that week, Mark. Now assured of his card for next year, which, was, of course, was the first objective for, for Matt. He'd actually missed six of his first seven cuts before that Irish Open. He only got in his first reserve, so that really was a career-changing week. Two hundred and sixty-six yards for Stenson with his longest iron. You can get close here today. Flag's in a good spot. The left-hand side. He's hit that right by the looks of it, Jamie. It's coming back, Jess. Oh, and a good bounce. Yeah. It worked well for him. How far has Mickelson got? 2-3-7. And he's got a perfectly flat lie, which is always good on these links courses. Lots of humps and hollows. 
Is the wind still staying up? I felt I thought it might be dropping, but I'm wandering around the compound. There's a lot of shelter. Yeah, there's no breeze in that commentary box, is there? <laughs> no, no it's the rain same. either. No, it's the same. I can see the flags on 18, exactly the same as when we started. You can just get in sheltered spots out here, and you think it's not blowing, but it is. And he'll use Henrik Stenson's ball as a perfect line. Aim it at that, and it should feed into the hole. Well, he's set up for a cut. And cut it, he has. Oh, lovely shot from Mickelson. These guys are coming out flushing it. That's majestic. What a wonderful start to this final round. Uh, JB, four-time PGA Tour winner, birdie chance at the fifth. Oh, just underneath it. Phil Mickelson, if he does go on to win today, will be recording his 50th professional win worldwide. A unique swing, Phil's. Huge turn for a long, long iron there. Look what a majestic shot he's hit. Great control of his ball. Andrew Johnston leading the battle for third. That seems to be no more than a battle for third. All about the top two. Well, Mickelson's at least going to 13 here. Stance is too pot to, to go to 14. They're lapping the field by the 12th. Tee shot from Johnston at five. Well, he's made more birdies than anyone else in the field so far, and sitting next to two former Ryder Cup captains, you have to ask, if Andrew keeps playing as he is and keeps making the birdies he is, he wouldn't be a bad addition to the European team, would he? A man that makes those kind of birdies? No, no, absolutely. Anyone that plays his way into the team, I think, is a, a great team member, and that's what he's trying to do. It certainly helps with captain if uh, a player thinking about being in the team performs well on this sort of stage. It's, it's not really uh, something he's experienced much of before, but it looks as though he was born to do it. I mean, he's, he's just enjoying it, wandering around like it's normal. And uh, three birdies in the first four in, with another with a bogey. That's a tremendous start under this sort of pressure. Well, it's a good shot of Stenson's, really. 266 with an iron. Get it on the front of the green. A magnificent shot from Nicholson. They're really going toe to toe out here. Let's hope it continues. I'm sure, it will. I don't see much in this part. A little bit right to left, maybe, but it's all about the pace. Yes, so, as the song says, it's all about the pace. Mm hmm. It's the same length as the first hole, and he left that a long way short, didn't he? So let's see if he can make amends.
That's good from that range. Three feet. Difficult to tell from the low camera. She has over the back left of the fifth. Bill has. Speed is a good line too. Great effort there from Bill has. No par so far. I've got this left edge, fellas. Sets up nicely for him. Just turn a fraction, that's all. I get the feeling this one is going in. They're in the zone, these two, there's no doubt about it. Already we've seen some brilliant shots. Goal three for Phil Mickelson. You couldn't write this, could you? You did blight might be able to write. <laughs> Just incredible stuff. Just stroked it straight in the middle, Phil. Birdie in a row for Henrik to stay alongside his playing partner. Just wonderful golf. We've had a birdie on every hole. And of course, we've had a eagle as well now from Phil Mickelson. So they're tied at the top in 14 under par. And we're only four holes into arguably the best head-to-head -head contest for an Open Championship since the epic duel in the sun at Turnbury all those years ago between Nicholas and Watson. Oh, the beef is to get to eight under. Comes off the left, stay up, stay up, stay up, and get up. Oh, it's a good putt though, Andrew, good putt. Let's keep it green said in 77, I won the other tournament. Well, let's hope Andrew can win the other tournament here and finish third. He finished ten shots behind Nicholas Watson. Rory's on 13. He's had a couple of birdies. Needs to get back on track. Well, that's a lovely shot. Oh, yes, a beautiful shot. This long 13th. Come 475-yard par four. Not helping. Just thinking it's about time Sergio made a move if he's going to. <laughs> Got to tell you, Greg Chalmers of Australia has just tweeted, solid 85 today. Apart from the 7th, 8th, 11th, 12th, 15th, 16th, 17th and 18th, I played pretty nicely. You've got to have a sense of humour about it. 192. Not easy to get close to this flag. Well, 
another magnificent long iron from Nicholson. It's amazed by what he said to the press either last night or this morning that he was amazed that he's still in contention after such a bad round yesterday. I mean, I thought he played brilliantly yesterday. Maybe he was trying to play mind games with Henry. I thought he played well. I think you're right, some think it's mind games. I don't think he could have picked a worse person to play them with. <laughs> Absolutely. They've moved the tee up 11 yards here. Stuck the flag on the front. So they give you in one hand and take away with the other. But Henrik, he's got to start this just right of the front bunker here, which guards the green. You don't want to go in there. You really don't. He's got a whole one up here, Henrik. He's taking his time here. Composing himself. As you can see, it's been a tough hole today. Fourth hardest. Only six birdies. Two good shots. Solidly struck. Middle of the green, both outside birdie chances. Stenson's more so. Mickelson's got a lot of borrow on that from left to right. This was Bill Hazard's par putt just a few minutes ago on the fifth. And the first drop shot for the American. So he now drops two behind Andrew Johnson and the the battle for third. That magnificent second into 13, Michael Roy. Well done, Rory. Top 10, eighth. He's been doing this all year. This seems to be, every day is strewn with errors. And then you look at the end of the week and he's finished fourth, fifth, seventh. Posted stamp for Garcia. Just a little shove. I know better person go. to give it a low go. punch than Sergio. Go. He wants it to go. Yeah. Lovely shot. <laughs> playing, with, playing with Patrick Reed. Reed won over for the day so far. Oh, 601 yards. The sixth. Ah. Not going to get very far from there. Not the easiest stance either in, in that bunker he's got. Too well to reach in three now. The final round of the Open Championship here at Royal Troon. It's Henrik Stenson against Phil Mickelson. They're tied at 14 under par, seven clear of Andrew Johnston in third. Six American winners in a row. Is Phil Mickelson going to make it seven? Good open for Tony Finau on his Open debut. Matt Southgate and Andy Sullivan, the two Englishmen, Dustin Johnson and Jim Herman, the two Americans, all in one under. Miguel Angel Jimenez, who, like a number in the field, will be, and indeed one of my fellow commentators, will be heading up to Carnoustie for the Senior Open Championship next week. Looking forward to that very much. Always a really enjoyable week, the Senior Open. Jordan Spieth has a disappointing Open, but finishes well with a 68, as does Russell Knox with a 69. Gladiators have reached the fifth green. Jamie is down there. Let the games begin. I'm sitting right down behind him here. So I've got a great view. Left to right, all the way. 
He'll probably hold this. Hit it, it was in. A great read from Nicholson there, how wide he hit that putt. We've seen so many people miss that low right. Nicholson had it perfect. <laughs> Good chance now for Stenson to take the lead again. Oh, interesting choice of club here for JB at the sixth. I do well. Very little option to do something along the ground. Well, it's right to left most of the way this part, then it straightens at the hole. Uphill. So he's got to hit this. Speed there. Just nicked the left edge. It's an awkward little one bang. Only because we just saw Bill Hasman miss one exactly the same lens. Henrik didn't see it. I was told that neither of them have birdied. Both make the three and remain tied at 14 under. JP holds two big hits to get up where he was in two. This was birdie, right edge. And then JB gets it to. Six under par, two under today, birdie both the par fives. And a nice start for the young American. Stricker didn't make his birdie. Sergio, yes, two in a row for Garcia. He moves to five under. Bunkered off the tee. This is the beef's third shot. Fly as hard as you can oh, now. Go. Fly and bounce. A little bit of a bounce. It's a fine shot. Get to this long par five sixth. If I hit driver, yes, sir. What would I have in? What would I have left in? Mm -hmm. You would, it, 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 it would be what you'd, you'd have roughly 275 front edge. Still deciding whether it's worth hitting driver, taking the chances. He's expecting Phil to drive it 310. Those calculations. I don't like that, so let's yeah. we're gonna lay it up. Right. So what, what do you like off the tee? Yeah, Seems like 265 for that left bunker. Um, right to left wind. I mean, I think we, we basically... We gotta hit two iron, iron by yeah. right of it. Huh? Yeah, I mean, you, yeah. It shouldn't get to the right one. Certainly the way the ground is. Yeah, it will, it, it should not get to the right one. So I, I like yeah. two iron at the bleachers. Okay, I like it. Right to left wind. 
Phone's away, please. Thank you. So 265, he's got to hit it right of the left-hand bunker. Thinks he can reach that with the two iron. Always an interesting insight into the, the thinking, though, isn't it? Good club to have in the bag and a Lynx course when the wind's blowing. I think driver for Stenson. I think you're right, Sam. I don't think Hen Henrik can definitely get there in two. Because he can hit that three with second shot miles. You know, I like that play from Mickelson if you're going to lay up, lay up. No point getting in these bunkers. But not for Henrik, you're right, Jess. I think he can reach. Turn it right to left and use the wind. Which Mickelson obviously couldn't. He'd have to give it a cut. Doesn't get this out very often, this driver, Stenson. Stop stone dead. Can't tell how far it's gone, no, the bunk, no, no bunkers in sight. Probably carried it about 300. <laughs> Soja Garcia, ninth tee. Coming off a couple of birdies. If you've just joined us, wherever you are around the world, you're in for a treat. The final round of the Open, Stenson and Mickelson tied at the top. Phenomenal wood for his third shot after being right in the face of the bunker off the tee. Not much breaking this. Yeah, excellent approach back. In the beef. In the tap in park. There's a couple under for the day. Three birdies, one bogey, two pars, seven under. Alone in third place, two ahead of four. J.P. Holmes at the seventh. He hits it a long way, the American. Well, not be far shot. Just miss one tiddler. This for a par at six. No, he's just not looking with it today, Bill Haas. Never finished in the top ten of a major. Final hole. Matthew Southgate for a birdie. Is it? But it's another very good final round from the big Englishman. Be very proud of his efforts. Perfectly up from Mickelson. Two 
could probably have reached the green comfortably if he'd taken the driver, but didn't fancy it. You don't fancy it, you don't have to do it. It's like upslope here, we see a great connection from Mickelson. Clean as a whistle, slight divot because of the upslope in front of him. Well, yesterday they both laid up into the thick rough, these two. So I think that's in their minds here. 278 to the bunker. Poor Henrik, so there's no point risking that. He's just going to pop a long iron down there and then pitch it up to the green. Fine there. He needed a bounce on that drive. 20 yards run on the drive, I think he'd have had a pop at it. Steve Stricker, second to seven. This is good. Lovely shot downwind. And a lot of players bombing it past the flag here at seven, but that's well judged by the American. Now to nine and Garcia. Hang on. That's an excellent shot from Garcia get on the top level. Better as we look at it. Small target that upper section salmon net. We see this drive too far, so we're going to go the aerial route. That's beautifully played. Then get off to the best start of his two weeks in Scotland. Played in the Scottish Open last week in Inverness. Opened with an 80. Missed the cut. Different story this week as we go to 18 and the world number one, Jason Day. Another of those players a little unlucky with a draw. Almost equidistant for well, their third shots, Mickelson and Stenson. Yeah. Well, there are aggressive layups there for the two players. Hey, Lordy, this is going to be really close. Stenson very close to that bunker. Mickelson equidistant as well, so. We got about 80 yards for Stence, Paul Nickerson, and. What does that have? One room flip a tee or something? Whatever you guys. Well, they're both saying they've got 74 yards. Well, Interestingly. That's not what I made it, but. No. Stence is definitely near the hole, in my opinion. He's by a sprinter as well, so he might get a drop. I doubt it. Just spin it. I swear he's got all the cool. You got to. <laughs> and the flag's just on a little shelf on this back left corner hey, of the green. You got the same, so we're just going to flip a coin to see who goes. You have a coin on you? I like the green one. You have a coin? It's exactly the same yardage. I don't care. Do whatever you want the first or second, doesn't matter. Why don't they ask the rules man to make a decision? He's right there. David Boyle was the referee with this match. That's what they're there for, isn't it? Yes. Ah. He's told him. He's told him. Perfect. 74? Yes, sir. They had a three yard difference, so. Might be trying on there a bit. You want to go first, wouldn't you? Yeah, I think you would. Stuff it in close, put the pressure on. Once again, Mickelson's got the better angle down the right. You've got to think it's by design. He's done it every hole. That's 
expect this one to go in a little bit lower. One bounce and spin. He could pitch it past the flag and bring it back. But I'm not sure he'll do that. Horrific by his standards, really. Five feet from 60 yards. We're back for Henrik Stenson's pitch, but let's go ahead to Garcia at nine. That's for three in a row for the Spaniard. No, not this time. Still, he gets to the turn of 33, three under, moves to five under for the championship. So definitely battling for that third place. That excellent second shot from JB Holmes. Brilliant. That's a very good up. Very aggressive tee shot. A little unlucky just to go too far. But Gray up and down for his birdie. And he goes to seven under, three under on the day. Oh, 76 all up for Henrik. He's got to carry at least 72 over this bunker on the left. Not aerial route. I don't know how you can put so much spin on such a short shot there from Stanton. That was extraordinary connection, Mark. Uh, abs absolutely. Um, I don't know if Jamie's still within earshot. Do you know what loft that club is, Jamie? No, but it's got plenty of spin on it. I know that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was his options. It was a great shot. Oh. About 20 feet. <laughs> Glad they changed the grooves, eh? <laughs> what a fabulous contest this is. It's just utterly enthralling. Given Sergio this one. Garcia playing with Patrick Reed, but this is Steve Stricker for his birdie on seven. Long way back for his tee shot. Excellent birdie. This is it. Patrick Reed was out in 37. Four behind Garcia. Stricker gets the five under. Nine behind. Looking down on the sixth green, the Open Championship, very much between two men. Henrik Stenson of Sweden and Phil Mickelson of the USA. Both 14 under par, seven clear of Holmes and Johnston. Relentless putting from Mickelson. So pure, the perfect pace, a great roll. A lot of players, when they hit the putts dead weight like that, the ball starts to bobble and doesn't really go at the hole. Mickelson's go at the hole at dead weight. It's, it's uncanny how good he is. I don't even think in his wildest dreams last night he'd have dreamt of a start like this. Four under after six. No, you want to just start playing well and steady and maybe pick up a birdie here and there, but oh, he's come out of the traps like a greyhound. <coughs> Henry. 
Rick's first appearance in an open at Royal Troon. It completes the set for him. He's played all the other open venues. Hadn't played Royal Troon before. Could be a very memorable first visit. What a contest. Both birdie six. Both move on to 15 under par. Back Roy, 15th. A parrot, 14th. No, he's pulled that. Nine four under for McElroy, and then bogeys at eleven and twelve. Back to three under. Postage stamp playing 116 today. Lovely little shot there, low cut. It's um, not a shot you see a lot with a wedge, even uh, at the very top of the game. I'm assuming a fade is his natural shot, but that was really nice and low. Impressive stuff from JV Holmes. Going for it, Mickelson on seven, driver. Might get it just short. Oh, Hit it left. Oh, left. oh, how lucky is that? Straight in the bushes there, if it doesn't hit that poor gentleman. Very lucky for Phil there. That was a poor one. First we've seen for a couple of days. But he's absolutely fine. Don't get me wrong. He's just got wedge into the green now. But very fortuitous. Well, it's not the driver for Stenson, just the iron. It's quite a generous fairway. Humps and hollows down here. It's called Tel El Kabir, this hole. Named after a battle in Egypt in 1882. There's a golfing battle going on today. That was lucky from Mickelson, but you need a bit of luck. Bunkers right and left down here. Straight up the middle for Stenson. Laser-like accuracy. Not bogey at the first. He didn't really hit one offline. He hasn't hit anything offline since. First sign of weakness from Mickelson off the seventh tee. As we go back to the beef. Has to get back into third on his own. No. Didn't quite get it running at the hole. Now we'll stay at seven under, tied with JB Holmes. Massive encouragement. He's a real crowd favourite. And it's not just here in the, the UK. He really has made an impact in his first few appearances in the US. A real crowd favourite. Now Garcia at the tenth. Great drive. Not going to. Change in the box. Sam and Mark taking a break. Laura back with us, along with Dennis Hutchinson. 
Can't get much better than this, Laura, can you? It's just wonderful. Oh, it's sensational. I mean, it's incredible stuff. They're both matching each other. The best two players on the course, again. Um, JB's doing his best. A few others are trying their best, but they're not going to get anywhere near these two. They're lapping the field almost. It's well, actually, I'm just going to say, you have seen more opens than most of us, and I, I don't imagine you've seen much better than this. No, I certainly haven't, but you, you reminded us all of that Turnberry that jewel in the sun a little early, and we were both thinking that Laura and I will be watching on the side. But, I mean, there are a lot of good golf going on, but th what those two do are doing is sensational. Jason Day unable to add another major to his collection, but the world number one finishes in 71, one over for the, cha excuse me, the championship. to the, the postage stamp. Oh, and a groan of disappointment, and that's not where you want to be. Oh. Extremely tough shot he's got there, but I'm sure he's got the game for it. Rory McIlroy. Perfect tee shot. They're all having a go at 16 today. I'm assuming the tee's gone up. I might be wrong, but they all seem to be... I've seen a lot of a lot of eagle putts. It's up 19 yards, by all accounts. And they're really trying to have a strong finish. And this is their, one of their best chances, because 17's tough, 18's got a, a back pin, so this is one of the last chances. Well, Mickelson's a little bit fortunate with his tee shot there. He's fine now. Spectator, which really is all that stopped them going into those bushes. <coughs> there's always an element of luck. So there's always an element of luck, isn't there? You've got to have a little break here and there and get in the bush. <coughs> One three seven left for Henrik Stenson. Perfect spot. This flag on the left. That ball of Mickelson's didn't hit anybody. It nearly hit the forward observer for the RNA. He's got a bit of meat on him, so it wouldn't have hurt. You were hit. a hard man. Well, you know, Hutchie. No, you don't want to be hit with a golf ball, that's for sure. I've been hit. It's not fun. Stenson, downwind, just a gap wedge. And he's coming in from a great spot here on the right-hand side. You've ever seen two players playing quite so well in this situation, Jamie? It's incredible, isn't it? That's about the first time they've differed in their game plan, Laura. Sensor with the iron and Phil with the aggressive play. Just thinking a little bit, maybe try and get my shot in first, or is it too early for that style of match play, which this is almost turning into? Well, I don't know, but he did catch that right-hand bunker. He had a dip to the driver yesterday and caught that short bunker, and he did well in the end to make a four. But, oh, this looks a bit awkward, doesn't it? Got a bit of mud on the ball here. 99 yards for Phil. Six birdies and an eagle between them in the first six holes. And Sergio going along quietly. This is third shot to the par four tenth down the bank. Oh, skipped it up beautifully. Go on, no. Nope. It's such a steep bank there, it really killed the ball. I need to pitch a little higher up the bank, so in danger of dropping a shot here. Sergio's played so nicely. Here's the beef. He's got a good lie. Can get this up easily. Shouldn't be a problem for him. Generate a little bit of spin. Watch how he gets through it. And a little bit clumsy. Maybe not quite such a good lie, because normally they, they'd flip those out, spin them, and just tap them in. Maybe 
we got in a little too far behind it, Laura, and too much sand and just couldn't get any check on the wall. Probably came out a little faster than he thought. He might have just been trying to run it up toward the hole. Ahead to the ninth, J.B. Holmes and his second. It was a very long tee shot there, Doogie. <laughs> Beautiful pitch. Stay now, just gone back to the bank. The longest hitter in the PGA Tour. Just marginally ahead of Dustin Johnson. Oh, Garcia to try to avoid dropping a shot here at 10. Not short. It's been your hobby horse all week, really. A lot of number of short putts, isn't it? It's, it's incredible. Yeah, it's astonishing, really, considering who we're looking at. All the best players from all over the world. And one thing in common, but the two that are putting the best and getting the ball at the hole more than anyone, I would suggest, are these two. And they've spread eagled the field. Yeah, and I hate to be accused again of mentioning Bobby Locke. You, always, you know, saying the greens are slower than what they used to, but these are other top players. And they should be able to cope. And as Bobby always said, playing like it is, not how you'd like it to be. And I think that applies. You've got to accept this. Actually, that might be a new record. That's about seven minutes till you mention <laughs> Bobby Locke. <laughs> I know. What can I do? Well, one great putter to another. Right to left for Mickelson. I can't believe the scoreboard down here. Eight, eight clear, these two. What course are they playing? <laughs> yep, they had a chance. A little more pace than that was a home run. So you feel it's a wonderful start for them and maybe... We'll see if it, but then the examination really starts, doesn't it? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This could be a lot of fun coming up, but they're playing so beautifully. Well, this to put a, a smile on Rory's face, and we haven't seen too many this week. This for an eagle at 16. Not a bad effort. Left himself a little bit of work. There's a lot to play for for these others. They can't win now. They know that. Everyone knows that. But there's a lot of uh, money to be played for. And obviously, there's a lot of uh, points, Ryder Cup points, world rankings. So there's a lot to play for for them. And a chance for Henrik to take a step ahead again. A little bit left to ride up the hill here for Stenson. Be nice and aggressive with this. Around the break, a fraction too much speed. Good stroke all the same. That's all you can do. Start the ball where you want to. As long as you hit it the way you want to, you won't feel bad. I think that's right. I think he's hit it exactly on the line. Just a misread, but uh, the stroke looks fantastic. And they'll be loving this as well. You two guys know that. I mean, it's just that that's the heat of competition. Head to head. The greatest prize of all at stake. So par for Andrew. Now, you don't very often make par from the greenside bunkers at the postage stamp, and he hasn't. Come on, Roy, knock this one in for a birdie. Sixth birdie of the day, a couple of drop shots at 11 and 12. There you go, so four on the par for the day. But it's somehow just never really in it, was he? No, a few too many mistakes and a, f a few too many parts. He hit good parts, very good parts, but just across the edges of the hole makes this game very difficult. Doesn't matter how well you play, if you don't hold putts, you don't win. To the postage stamp, and here's a thought. Do you think, do you think in future they're going to have to change the name of the hole? Future generations aren't going to have a clue what a postage stamp was, are they? You can't, you can't rename it the email. I mean, it just, it's just not the same, is it? Not the same, but it's a shame that they're not going to be the most beautiful things in the world some postage stamps. 
like to take this hole to every open, I know that. What a great hole. All you course designers out there, are you watching? Tell him, tell him, Jamie. 116. Into off the left. 9 iron for Phil. Just bunting it in. Fabulous. If your distance control's good and wind like this, you know you're playing well because it is very difficult. They're making it look very easy. Galleries at Royal Truna absolutely engrossed in this contest. Makes you hold your breath, though, doesn't it? These are dangerous shots being played now. Well, he was toying with a nine arm, but he's gone with a wedge, Stenson. So one less club. And because of the music, he's going to have to hit a lot harder, and he might get more spin than he wants. Later. Called that one spot on. Very good. First time you've ever impressed me. Our last look at this wonderful par three, the Open Championship. And the postage stamp, shortest par three in Championship golf. A delight. Ahead to nine, home for birdie. This is coming up quite a sharp ridge. There you go. And he's got it there, I think. Oh, super effort. Got a drop shot, three birdies out in 33. Well played by JB. Now it's seven under. Really is a, a battle for third between Holmes and Johnston, Stricker, McElroy, Garcia, and the rest. Huge gap to the leading pair. Henrik Stenson and Phil Mickelson, 15 under par, eight clear. Disappointing day for Bill Haas. Three over through eight holes, and he's dropping down the leaderboard. But Terrell Hatton is fifth open, but the first one in which he's made the cut, having a very good week. Tony Finau in his first open. Uh, to the par 3 17th. And Rory McElroy. Two twenty one yards today, this one. Win from the left. Oh, oh, oh. Rory, marvellous. <laughs> Flag's looking a little limp there. Normally this would catch the wind across. I don't know if it's dropping off the wind, but... That was a super shot, but it looked quiet. Johnson, ninth hole from the fairway. And one behind JB in the, in the race for third. <laughs> Doogie, he's got his fan club now, hasn't he? He certainly <laughs> has, yeah. Stinson for the two. Chance to get in the first blow. And it is match play now, of course it is. What plane? Come. Look. Yes! It's really going to be a shame, Doogie, that somebody's got to lose today. 
You're so right, Hutch. Just a wonderful contest. Fifth birdie of the round for Henrik Stenson. He moves to 16 under. You just might need to get to 20 under par to win this, and that's astonishing because if the wind is dying down a little bit, then uh, they could actually come in and make more birdies on the way in. So this is a phenomenal thing. It's all history, but they're making some of their own right here. Phil said it was only when he played on this course in the 2004 Open that he finally got to grips with Lynx golf. Before then, he tried to play his usual game. He tried to overpower it, tried to play the course a different way, and it didn't work. The light finally went on in 2004, and of course he went on to become an Open champion nine years later. Now he's looking for a second claret jug, but this to stay alongside Stenson. Yeah, as you said, a chance to make the first blow there, and he did, took advantage of it. Not a bad one, just a slight misread, it didn't look a bad stroke. <laughs> On ahead to the ninth, and this birdie chance for Andrew Johnson. Three birdies already, a couple of drop shots. That's a chance to get out in 34. Really needs this to get momentum back after that drop shot on the last. Lovely putt. Just over a fraction, but nothing wrong with that. Fan club still enjoying every moment. Stays one behind JB Holmes. Yeah, I sort of had a short chat to him on, I think on a Tuesday, and he, he said how much he'd enjoyed playing in America in the World Golf Championships in the Open, and you now here, and, and he just looked thoroughly at home, as he said, just a straightforward guy. JB punching one in, trying to keep it down, bit of spin maybe. A little bit too much. Well, that's a lovely. That would have looked really good to him when he hit that, but just a bit short. Yeah. This is Terrell Hatton. Roberti at the difficult 12th, 129 yards. Back into the teeth of it. Couldn't hold a thing yesterday, but he's getting in a few this afternoon. Very nice putt, and that's him three under on the day, as you can see. <laughs> saying it just toppled in. Yeah, he hit a lot of good putts yesterday, but missed them all. Yeah, it's amazing. The boys touching hands and walking. It's quite a long walk from the eighth tee to the ninth green, but there we go. I wouldn't give that glove away, though. <laughs> Are you superstitious at all like that with balls and gloves? Um, a little bit, yeah. I, if, if, I've, if I've just had a few birdies with the ball, I won't give it away. But if I've had a few bogeys, they can have it for sure. That's for sure. I agree. But, you know, it's strange. It's Ernie. Ernie believes there's one birdie in the ball. It makes a birdie, tosses it out. I can't believe his dad's got a lot of lovely balls. Yeah, you can Well, it looks like Hendrick has selected the iron off this tee. It can, of course... You think a good play this, Jamie? Definitely Hachi with those bunkers down the left. 280 to them. So once they did about 260. Mm -hmm. What's that wind doing now? Uh, same as it always is. It's a little bit down off the right, mainly across. This is where the tough golf starts. Yep. Beautiful follow from the plane up above. And everybody loves it. And so will Henry. He'll be fine there. Just off the fairway. So you, you got right to left with a little bit of help. Big time. No cameras, please, folks. Well, you won't be able to see the flag from there, Stenson. Yep. His reaction was, I think he thinks he's in the longer rough, but he's actually come out. I think he'd be pleasantly surprised when he gets down there. Yeah, he got a bit lucky there, didn't he? 
same for Phil. He's managed to get it down the correct side of most of these fairways, so he should be taking dead aim at those two bunkers. Come on, Phil! Come on, Phil! He's turning into a football match. <laughs> the great thing is that even though it's a European against an American, you'd imagine Stenson would have more support. I'm not sure that he does. They're both getting huge support from the galleries, Laura, aren't they? Well, it sounds 50-50, which is extraordinary, but uh, Phil's love wherever he plays. Oops. It was a, a birdie attempt, but an unsuccessful one, unfortunately, for... JB. And playing alongside Steve Stricker, who's played so wonderful golf, out in 34 today. You know, think of yesterday's round, 17 bars, and then that horrible quadruple eight at 15. It's just. They haven't had a bogey between them. They've shared five birdies three for JB, two for Steve. And they're difficult. 12, 4, 13, 483, little chip down, third shot, up the bank. And that's, come on then, come on, it's done better than I thought it was going to. Such a tough hole, the 11th. You get through that without any damage, you've really done pretty well. Lovely shot into 17th, the par 3, this for a 2 for Rory. Go on then, nope. He's not going to win the Open for the second time, but I wouldn't be betting against him for the US PGA in a couple of weeks at Balter's Rock. I don't think he's far away at all. Let's keep a drop shot off his card, Steve Stricker, for his part 10. <laughs> Lovely putt. Good pace right in the middle. Well now, a really difficult drive here. It's got to try and fire it over those left-hand bushes up there. Left of the path you can see straight down. Fairway slope, so this looks perfect. Perfect. 27-year-old, already a winner this year on the European Tour, won the Spanish Open, his first win. On a real tough course too, Valderrama, that'll give you confidence for anywhere. Very good. Sergio makes his four. Good up and down from beside the wall. Like everyone else, big discrepancy between his front nine scores and back nine scores this week. Kaima, par putt. Oh, good stroke. Not the week he was looking for. He's been playing pretty well coming into this and started off with that. Wonderful five under par 66 day one, but couldn't back it up. But nonetheless, a decent week. And playing partner Francesco Molinari also round in 74 today. They both finished three over for the championship. Well, it's hardly a bad score this week, 287. I'd say yeah. it's it super golf, really. Yeah. But what these guys are doing is amazing. There's a leap of faith required here for Henrik because he can't see the flag, can't see the green. Just all he can see is the gorse in front of him, but he can see a TV tower, which is very handy. And the flag is just to the right of that in a very difficult spot. He's got 178, which is a 7 iron for Henrik Stenson. Middle of the green, I'd suggest. Asking for a little bit of help, asking for it. Push it. I don't know why that was all over the flag. A little below that little slope, I think he's got a putter. But once again, marvellous shot. It's got almost the identical putt that we just saw Beef miss, so we know that one's left lip. Phil Mickelson, what's his lie like, Jamie? Perfect, Laura. And he can see everything in 168. 
you said earlier, he's hitting the right parts of the fairway, and again, he's done it. Doesn't matter to Henrik Stenson. He's got an eight iron here, Mickelson. the contest. One bogey between them, and that was a three putt, so the, the sort of golf we're seeing in their position is astonishing, really. Okay, Peter Johnson up the hill, into the 10th super tee shot. Just see the top of the flag there. Don't leak it right, it leaves such a difficult shot. Mm. And you were setting that bank down into the swale. Sergio, so, I think this is a really tough drive, 12. The bush not moving too much at the moment. I'm sure that wind has dropped a little, Laura. I think you're right. I mean, Jamie's in the thick of it, and he says it's not, but from, from our pictures, it certainly looks like it's dying down a little bit. OK, hold on to your hats. Driver for JB, and watch him. He gives this a horrible smack. Individual swing. Oh, don't drift too much. But I think that's far enough to be OK. I think with his length, he carries <laughs> that little bit of grass, that, that little bit of hill there, so, yeah, that's... A beautiful swing, lovely stuff. Lovely, oh, no pits into the bank there, otherwise it would have been miles up there. Final hole of the 2016 Open for Rory McIlroy. Yeah, terrific in that wind. He appeared to be coming straight down when they're looking at the flag and there's no more than a wedge from 458 yards. The wind has definitely turned a bit since earlier in the day. Well, he was past that right-hand bunker and I don't think I've seen anyone even attempt to go past that, so certainly uh, he's having a go. I was just thinking that, Laura. It seemed an awfully long way down, didn't it? Wonderfully detailed leaderboards around the golf course. I have to say, the RNA really have run a fantastic championship in every sense. I've got to say, I don't think, and I've been at a lot of Opens, I don't think I've been at one where the traffic management was just so efficient. It's been so simple to get in and out at whatever time of the day, and that's great, great tribute to everyone. It's been a great championship. You can only endorse that. Come on, Jamie. Well, I've read this both ways, so I'm going to leave it to you guys in the box. We just saw this putt earlier, and it is just inside left. If he keeps the speed up and hits it inside left, I think he'll make it. Oh. Just going to be a fraction of our time, maybe, but a good attempt again, and that. You'll feel fine. You know, you've hit it where you want it to, and that's all you can do. Johnson missing the green at 10. My two players are bumped up here, but electing to take the aerial route. Not getting the check he was looking for, though. And so far below the green, it's very difficult. The ball arrives much flatter than you think it's going to. So it's difficult. Well... Because with the chance to level the scores. Nice putt to have here for Phil, putting up the hill. Just a fraction right to left. That's all it is.
it's always difficult to call a putt for a left hand, you know, you're thinking, and I'm sure he meant left to right there because it's the way the left hand is stand. And uh, just moved, anyway, two good attempts, out 32. And this man had popped this one in to do the same. Giving this plenty of attention, doesn't want to make any ridiculous mistakes at this stage. And any momentum over to the other man? Yeah, you can't just tap anything and you've got to be. Give it your full attention. So they both make four at nine. They're both out on 32, four under par. And Rick Stenson, one clear. Oh, one ahead. Almost one up in this match play contest. If there is a playoff, Doogie, which I mean it could easily be, what, what, what do they do? Is it four it's holes? The four hole playoff, yeah. <laughs> one, two, 17, and 18. A wonderful lead it. And there's the applause, the reception for Rory McElroy. Not the week he dreamed of. He was on the wrong side of the draw. That caught a few of the, the top players. But he's battled so well. And a par for a 67 at the last one of the best rounds of the day. And he's going to be top half dozen again in a major. As I say, keep an eye on him for the US PGA in just two weeks' time. Right now we saw rather a week pitch just for a par four. Not too much in it, but give it a chance. Oh, good effort. And just announced the official attendance figure for this year's Open, 173,000 over the uh, full week, including practice days, which I think is very much in line with expectations and what entertainment the spectators have had. Two extremely important tee shots coming up here for both the players, both 10 and 11. This is where you can run up a big number, so they want to be in the fairway. Just to the left of that path. That looks perfect. Get it wind a little bit, and that should finish absolutely in the ideal spot. That three wood of his does not go offline. I mean, it just goes dead straight. I'm, I'm amazing how far he hits it as well. It does get hit, though. <laughs> oh, what a fantastic weapon to have in the bag. Oh, 288-yard carry. Dead straight. Right, now this scores the wind is on his chest, so get it moving from a draw for him, a slice of the others can go a long way, this three wood. You've got to be ready. And it's a long way up the hill there too. If you slight miss hit, you could be in trouble. Again, beautiful. I was watching it anxiously, but oh, and he was right too. Yeah, I didn't a... think it had gone that far. Yeah, he's absolutely nailed that. He's almost hit that too well. I'll tell you who else will be delighted with this leaderboard, Laura and, and Hutch. Uh, Aberdeen Asset Management and everyone in the Scottish Open, the top five in the leaderboard, all played last week at Castle Stewart. We're continuing the trend over the last few years where the, the Open winner has played in the Scottish Open the week before. It's clearly proving to be an advantage. And how? Come on, close with the birdie, Rory. Get in there now. Just again, that speed not quite right. Stroke look good. I think if you hit every putt that speed this week, you'd be in a lot better position now. That was a really good stroke to finish with. Well, he hit a couple of short putts. Miles too hard, I thought, that he missed and hooked out the hole. Still, wonderful round of 67, and that's with a couple of bogeys at 11 and 12. And there was a spell in the front nine when he did look as he just might be setting a target for the top two. Obviously, that's not happened, but Rory McIlroy can be 
proud of his last round performance. Finishes at four under par, currently sixth. That's right. That's what's the second, slightly up the hill to the 12th green, 429 yards. And a little crisp bump. Looks like an eight iron. Super. That's a good shot there. That looks like a big green, that, but it really isn't. It's very narrow. So that's a beautiful shot from Garcia from the perfect position, I might add. This is Jamie Holmes with his third shot down the bank a little bit. And uh, this is the 11th. 483 yards. It's a root of hull. Just think about Rory. 280 would have won a lot of championships over the years, wouldn't it? Trying to visualize what he wants it to do, going with a putter. Your view of that, Laura? Well, it's, he might, it might have drawn a, a... You see a little bit of yellow, that might be a, a dodgy little lie, so maybe that, that's influenced his decision. I'm surprised he's got the pin out. So if it comes flying off this surface, he can... Uh... Go on. Well done. The 27-year-old from the North Middlesex Club in North London. Only a second open. The train was... went by. I hope it's not too far right there, is it? That should be all right. Go off. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, Beef's only other open back in 2011 at Royal St George's, and he missed the cut. I'm surprised he didn't back off that tee shot because that train was hammering along anyway, JB. And you, you could see it coming, Laura. It wasn't yeah. coming up from behind you. It was coming south. It's called concentration. <laughs> what train? Well, he's got some nice power there from JB. Two putts from over the back. Joyce Weather at St Andrews in the old days when the train went there. I actually played there when the train still worked and the train sheds were there way back in 54. What train? It was like 10 yards from it. <laughs> One eight seven left for Phil on a hanging light. Got to be careful. He doesn't ground his club here. Could move the ball. Sitting up precariously. One seventy to the front. Sounded nice and crisp. Astonishing. Absolutely astonishing. Neither one will give you. Some of the golf we're watching is just a treat, isn't it? As Jamie says, hanging lie. Feet well above the ball. Really difficult to control this. And look at that balance. I think it's safe to say you're going to have to win this. Some, the other guy's not going to give it to you. And it's a wonderful illustration of swinging past your head. That head never moved. His head has been so still throughout. Have an M and M. Well, that's how far it is. He's come up short here, Mickelson, most of the week. Not an easy shot from down there. It's a 9-9 yardage for Henrik. He might just hit a little eight here. It's a, it's a shot he struggled on. He has got a little eight. Yeah. yeah, he's right in between here. This is what it's all about. And there's not much breeze. It's a beautiful evening now out here. No, he's not certain, is he? It's right in between. Decisions, decisions. 
How much wind is there, Jamie? Because surely he's better off if it's not too windy going with the big nine. The flag is silent. It's just not moving at all. And down there you can't feel it as well. It's not as much as it's been all week. If he smashes a nine, he could get it there. This is a little late. It's just too beautiful. Yeah, that was the right call. And generally speaking, you'd rather hit a, a hard nine than a little eight, wouldn't you? Rather every, hit one full out, wouldn't you? Yeah, every time for me, if, you, if you're between, and there's no if there's, if there's a lot of wind, then yeah, go with the easy one. But no wind, yeah, definitely go with the big one. Garcia. Yeah. That's for a birdie at 12. Go on. Nah. Final round of the 145th Open Championship. It's between two men. Henrik Stenson of Sweden looking for his first Open. Phil Mickelson looking for his second. And JB Holmes with a two-shot lead in the tournament the rest of them are playing in. Rory McIlroy, 67. Low round of the day and enough to take him into the top six. 69s from Matt Southgate and Andy Sullivan. 70s from Emiliano Grillo and Gary Woodland. Andrew Johnson. This is his third shot. He's got a bump on the back of the sport. Looks like he's got a little bit of grass. So really drive down, pop it up in the air. There it is. Now let it roll out. Now come on. Perfectly played, lovely shot there. The only way to better that one was to knock it in. Yeah, beautiful. Yes. Who's going to throw the first punch here, Jamie? Henrik, but it was close to see who was playing first. A difficult putt for Stenson to read, actually. It, it should go right to left. There's a little bit of a sort of a bulge between him and the cup, which just might keep it straighter than you think. So he's got to make his mind up here. I think it's just a touch of right to left here. The golf is just incredible. Privilege to be out here with these great players. It's staggering, really, because you see all these other players, they're missing greens, they're, they're, you know, they're struggling a little bit, and these guys just keep hitting fairways and greens and chugging along. Yeah, the guys behind these are pretty good players as well, aren't they? And that's the thing. It's for a six birdie. Incredible. The last eight groups haven't made a birdie at ten. Henrik Stenson has. You wouldn't bet against this guy, would you? No. A little bit of break on this for Phil, just outside the hole. You beauty. You beauty to Harvard in blooming threes. That's fantastic. <laughs> If you'd have said to Stenson, you've got a one-shot lead, you're going to make, uh, you're going to turn in four under, birdie the tenth, and you're still going to be level, he wouldn't have believed a word you were saying. 
It's just fantastic. Both five under for the day. What drama were, I think, guaranteed over the next eight holes. And as someone said, Ella, it might have been you, Hutch. What a shame that one of these great players is going to lose out. It's lovely that. Under all this pressure, you've got Henrik Stenson walking up there, high five in the galleries, adding to their day. You know, it's fantastic to see. You don't often see that. Um, look what about like never? <laughs> JB Holmes, another beautiful t shirt down the 12th. It is a real. Meany, 129 yards today and coming up short. I don't know, maybe if it cuts a little bit now, it makes it even more difficult for the players. Well, JB is in third place and he's 10 behind. A little disappointing. <laughs> Shades of Hubert Green in 1977. Jack Nicholas and Tom Watson battling out the famous duel in the sun at Turnbury. This is a duel in the wind, but it's just as compelling. There you go, hardest back nine in the open was here at Royal Troon 2004. That averaged 36.7, it's currently averaging 37.04, so it's the hardest back nine in the open for more than 12 years, and these two are making it look easy. Well, not only are there people inside the ropes here, there's people the other side of the railway looking in. I don't blame them. And Stenson just can't shake Mickelson off. All you can see is gorse off this tee. Frightening tee shot. Just as well, they've got our crane in the distance. Tracer gives you the ball flight, going a little bit left. He's fine. It is such a scary shot. Really has thrown down the gauntlet once again to Phil. That uh, makes his tee shot a lot more difficult. It's a better win, though, for Mickelson. Wind off the left. He can hold it up, he can draw it. I'm going to carry it 280 to carry the course down the right hand side. Aggressive play here for Mickelson. Yeah, going with the big gun. Pulling it off. Yeah. That is a ripper. It's a privilege to watch this lot, isn't it? Some of the best golf I've ever seen. Four. Let's move ahead to the 12th tee and Andrew Johnston. Beef. Oh. Oh. Got a move. And drilling it yeah. lowish and straight. Mm. Nothing wrong with that. Here in the long par four, 13th, 475 yards. I'm trying to flop it up there, and has he given it enough? Go, going back into the wind, not quite. The four par fours in the back line that are over 450 yards. I mean, that, it's a real snorter of a nine holes. Holmes just came up short here on 12, so he's going to have to hit a nice pitch to keep it seven under and keep, at the moment, two shots ahead of fourth place. Oh, and look at that. He really is playing some great golf himself. Well, he is, but I mean, you know, you put that combination together, great power and touch, look out. They're always the ones that are going to give you the own. He's doing it so calmly and nicely. He's just going about his business as if it was every day. And that wind, you can see those flags are not standing out straight now. So it is dying a little bit. And look at the people waiting to see the finish tonight, and I think it might be one to remember forever. Zach Johnson. 
missed the green on this par three, just chipping up. Doing it quite nicely, just run out a little bit, but that's not a bad effort. Um, defending champion, he's played nicely. Go back to the JB Holmes at the 12th after that lovely little chip. Let's pop this in for his par. No problem. See the two tee shots. Stenson just in the rough. I don't think that'll be a huge factor. And Mickelson perfect. Might be slightly unsighted. Uh, the pin, but well, and Jamie, I don't think he can see the pin from where he is. Ed. No, he can't, Archie. Got those bushes in front of him, blind. Similar to the night thought earlier. Not too bad though. Ball's below his feet. Him and Lordy have just come out to have a look. Been together a long time, these two. Have they got anything to aim at over the back of the green? Is there a TV tower they can see? Because from our view, it doesn't look like they've got anything to, to use as alignment. You've got the same view they have, Laura. They can't see anything apart from those bushes. So what do you do now? Just pick a, pick a spot in the gorse bush and, and just focus on that? And make sure you get over it, yeah. I think he might do that, but, uh, yeah... He's got the ball below his feet. I think he'd try and draw this one in off this light. It's a safer option with that railway wall. He can see that. Mm. Flags at the back. Wind's dying, though. It's a beautiful evening. Yeah, we sort of got that impression. But here again, with the ball below the feet, encourage a little movement from left to right, which he's got to avoid. As you say, that wall is not far from the green. Yeah, picked a five for him here. How do you say it's a normal five? 209's a normal five these days, Archie. <laughs> I know. I wish it was for me. Two of them I might get there. Holding your breath. Come on, up you come. It was going right at it, but well done. You have to say, the way Mickelson's playing, that's slightly the door open because you wouldn't have thought Hendrick's going to make that putt. Oh, Phil Mickelson won 96. He's got a six iron. This is the best weather we've had since Thursday. Again, beautiful sound. Come on. Oh, stop. Oh. oh, wow. Well, Laura's absolutely right. That's a missed opportunity from, from uh, for Phil. It's a tad unlucky. It looked beautiful, didn't it? Just didn't have any spin on it, which is unusual for Phil. And he knew in the air. He knew that it was likely to be over the back, and it, it was only just. Ahead to 13. Garcia. That's to stay at four under. Yeah, not the best chip from the back of the green. Leaving this par putt. Come on, pop it in. No. <coughs> Is that one of those but you feel fairly obvious right to left there? Just the pace was wrong. Three under for the front line, but Bogie's now at 10 and 13 on the back for Sergio. Well, Johnston at 12. Marvellous, isn't it? There's a little beer stand there on the right of this screen, so I think uh, he might get some big cheers if he can roll that one in. 
Okay, hold on to your hat. Here goes JB. That's long enough, I think, to be perfect. <laughs> yeah, well. It's definitely long enough. My goodness, he's hit that it's one, hasn't he? Quite... <laughs> it is miles. Partry 14th and 178 yards today. Sergio, probably no more than a six high. Yep, good shot. Seventeen under par, sixteen under par, and the next best is ten back. Unbelievable. Rory McIlroy, round of the day so far, 67, and only the leaders on the course are better than that. Bill has going in the wrong direction, so two, Kevin Na and Charles Schwartzel. Patrick Reed and Tony Finau down at the bottom there. Nice rounds of 69 and 70 from Southgate, Sullivan, Griot and Woodland. Lee Westwood a 68, Jordan Spieth a 68, Jason Duffner a 69. And now it really is turning into a very pleasant late afternoon, early evening, just coming up to five o'clock in the evening here in Scotland. Just a little bit right to left, up this green for Stinson, not a huge breaker. He just wants to keep it right side. A few bobbles there, so a little wide, running out of steam, but it did bobble along there. Almost 200 countries worldwide watching our live pictures of this Open Championship. For those of you watching us in the, in the Far East, in Australia, New Zealand, it's the middle of the night. And I'll bet a lot of you are staying up. You'll want to see this one. I'm sure the boss will understand in the morning. <laughs> Surprise here that uh, Phil's hitting the bread and butter. I thought he'd just chip this over the bank and let it trundle down. A little bit of a bank in front of him. It's going to go left to right once it gets onto the green. But he's been putting most of the week when he's off the green. That's obviously a tactic. He's had for the week. Yeah, two sort of disappointed parts of the way they'll be going in a way. They never really frightened the hole at all. Well, Mickelson, he's electing to finish out. Maybe trying to put a bit of pressure on Stenson's putt, which is obviously a good seven, eight feet. Mm. It didn't look that far away first time around either, did it? A little bit of match play, entirely legitimate. You'd do the same, Laura. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I love finishing these off, especially in this situation. <laughs> Can't see him missing it. Oh, good view there. Just watch this stroke. Yep. Very nice. Well, it has just been very exciting. It will remain so. You don't want to see a big mistake anywhere now, do you really? You just want to see the tussle continue. It's pulling the best possible golf out of each other. I thought he was sort of almost hold high, just misread it, but he's, he's a good, well, Four feet at the, the best, I would think. And obviously it's going to turn a bit from his right down. The speed has got to be absolutely perfect to get this one in. 
Want to get it inside the top right edge. Just not enough on it. Two bogeys he's had today have both been three putts from distance, so he needs to hit it a bit closer. But that ties them all up at 16. Bogeys at the first and the 11th for Henrik Stenson. Six birdies. And this was so close. It was in. It's then cruel. it was out. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that little fly had head, headed it out there. He's a <laughs> goalkeeper in. It's a, an American fly, obviously, for Mickelson. <laughs> I thought it was an American pie. To the 12th. Birdie putt for Andrew Johnston. That little should come from him. He's right. <laughs> Underdone beef. Absolutely tied up at the top of the leaderboard. Holders Both Phil Mickelson and please. Henrik Stenson, 16 under par. Seven holes to go on the final round of the Open. Well, he hit this iron into the edge of the gorse yesterday down the left. And it's cutting again. Stay. It'll be OK. Mm. It's like he bumped out into a half-decent lie, so... Maybe not too bad, but not what he wanted. Gives Henrik a chance to smash one down the middle again and try and wrestle back the advantage. And I say, this is not an easy tee shot going with the iron. Four hundred and thirty yards. This twelfth, you want to really get it down there about two eighty if you can, but you won't get it down there that far with an iron. Mm. So conservative plays of both players here. Another real strong swish and going straight down the fairway. Anyway, super drive, all square. I'll leave you now, and I hope you're really enjoying the rest of this intriguing duel. Baba Doogie. Thank you, Hutch. Thank you, Laura. And as these two great players leave, we're joined by another two. Mark James and Sam Torrance back with us for the closing drama and I think we can guarantee plenty of it oh. third bogey in the last five holes for Andrew Johnston he's losing a little bit of impetus he's now three behind JB Holmes and one behind Steve Stricker Terrell Hatton, this long one for a birdie, and a shot or two now would be huge for him. Oh, come on, mate. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> oh, that is massive for Terrell Hatton. Moves him up into a tie for fifth. And the walk up the 18th for the defending champion, Zach Johnson, and a very good defence of the Claret Jug 2 by the popular American. <laughs> One on a playoff last year with Louis Ostazen and Mark Leishman. With Jason Day and Jordan Speed just out of the picture. That was a fabulous open. This is a different but equally fabulous finish. Well, a good shot from Holmes, just uh, half a club heavy. Wind now dying away, these players can attack. Terrell Hatton, 17th tee. Big birdie pot at 16.
It's close to Ryder Club Place. Daryl this will make a huge run towards. What a beautiful iron shot. What a gorgeous shot, Daryl Hatton. At his best finish in the European Tour just last week. Second in the, the Scottish Open. The beef has moved to the 13th tee. Yeah, he's got to produce a good finish here. That was a pretty good line. Nicholson once again going left at 12. He doesn't seem to have too bad a lie, Jamie, I'm sure, will tell us. Henrik Stenson in great shape, though. Yeah, there's a fluffy old lie here. He's going with a six iron. He's trying to muscle this from 200 yards. Whoa. Well, I thought he was trying to do that. It hasn't come off. He was trying to hit a low runner. You hit them sideways, they're not going to run at all. That was a poor shot, wasn't it, Doogie? Oh, that was right out of the blue. I just didn't expect that. Well, Jamie said it was a fluffy line. Maybe it just snagged up unexpectedly. Do get a variance in the types of grass. Well, we've seen it from every conceivable angle now. We're none the wiser. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was just a bad shot. A bad shot. What's that? I haven't seen many of those today. Not from these two, anyway. JB Holmes. It's for birdie on 13. Just to get to eight. Turn. Oh. Played very well today, JB Holmes. No bogeys, three birdies. One seventy eight left for Henrik out the middle of the fairway. And this is a seven iron yardage. But it's back into the breeze a little bit, so he's gonna to have to hit all of it. And the flag's just over a ridge. It's a safe club, wasn't it? Sometimes you have to play the man and not the course. Mickelson, very poor shot there. Almost guaranteed to make bogey. Stenson, gorgeous strike again. Never left the flag. Move it into the breeze, as Jamie said. 25 feet, 30 left for his birdie, not bad. If Henrik Stenson does go on to win, he'll become the oldest first-time major champion since Darren Clark won the Open back in 2011. <laughs> Lowest winning score at Trun was 272, which is Justin Leonard 1997, which was 12 under par. Kalkovefia shot 13 under par, 289, but it was par 72 then. So the pair of them are demolishing the records at Trun, and it's been a tough week too. Easy day, day one, but not since then. One seventy-two for the beef on thirteen. So he's hit the drive just about three hundred. Uh, should have gone a bit right with that body language. Oh, it's not. Stay there. Not too bad. Rightly, Phil, just having a stroll up to the to the green. How much trouble is he in, Jimmy? He's not too bad, Doogie. It could be a lot worse. It's it's obviously a very fluffy line there. 
Bit of a risky second shot, really. It wasn't great back there. But it's not too bad, but it's going to be devilishly difficult to get close with this flag, just on top of a ridge. It's a very loud crowd down here. They've had some long lunches, I think. <laughs> Just be real quiet, please. Thank you. Good luck with that, Bones. No cameras, please. Thank you. I think he's going to go aerial here and just try and fly it all the way up in the air. That's what he's looking at. Well, he's pretty safe. I don't think he had much on there, as Jamie said. We go back to 18, Miguel Angel Jimenez. The old crowd pleaser does the business again at 18. 71, 72, 70, 71 for Miguel Angel Jimenez. He's not the winner this week, but keep an eye on him in the Senior Open next week. That was a good putt. It's a bit of a misread. Perfect speed. Hatton for his birdie at 17 after a beautiful long iron. This should f just fade a touch for him. Oh, well, not sure he quite got that how he wanted. For three, though, no damage. <coughs> He's coming up a ridge here, Stenson. It's a little bit right to left. And pretty slow. <laughs> Left it short on 11. Left it a bit short, not as far short on 12, but it's a little tester. Final shot. For the defending champion. He, like every champion, he had to hand the claret chug back. And he really wanted to claim it again and defend the title, and he made a really good attempt. Well done, Zach. Phil Mickelson. Every time Henrik Sensen lands a punch, he comes straight back. Fabulous four from a former winner. Two days in a row he's made four from nowhere on 12. Quite incredible. That's, they're right in the middle, these putts. Well, fortunately, Stenson's pretty close to the hole. It's only the fourth hole, which there hasn't been a birdie or eagle made. Both making par at 12, six to go. And they're still tied at 16 under. What a fantastic day's golf. Fourteen, JB Holmes for birdie.
He's playing battle there, Steve Stricker. Steve's five under. Putt there to go six. Four hundred and seventy three yard par four, the thirteenth. And when there's no bunkers on a hole at Troon, you know it's a difficult hole. This and the tenth, no bunkers. Doesn't need them. Wind off the left, perfect for Mickelson. Been a nice draw down here. course have now turned into the long relatively straight road home we're going to see a mixture of his three wood and his driver over these closing holes Stenson he prefers that three wood but this is the big one. Got to hit driver on this hole and 15. It's just too long. Big wide fairway down there, though. Gentlemen, we need to move up a little bit. Perfect. Get quite a bit of run up that left hand side. He should be quite a bit nearer than Mickelson. Mickelson's came down pretty soft. Birdie putt for Steve Stricker. And he's made it. And he moves now to within one of JB Holmes in the battle for third. Johnson, a lot of people's favourite this week. Did well the first couple of days, but nothing really happened. Oh. What a year he's having. It wasn't to be this week. First time he's really against Alan Clark at St George's Hill with out of bounds at 14. A good steady week for Dustin Johnson. Round and 70 finishes two under and inside the top 10. It's just an astonishing leaderboard, isn't it? Stenson and Mickelson almost out of sight. Not often late on a Sunday afternoon, the leader in the clubhouse is at four under par, and the two leaders out in the course are 16 under par. Not when there's only about 45 <laughs> minutes difference in tee off time, <laughs> that's for sure. There's the beefs on the 14th tee. The second hole last week to get second on his own. I don't think he's going to finish second on his own, but he can get right up there. Yeah, no, that's fine, that's a good shot. Good chance of birdie there. Four on the par at the moment. Leading two in the 13th. First to go, which is 
Probably an advantage in this match play contest. Get in there first, knock it in close, but pressure on your opponent. I'm thinking six. I know that we hit it over on 11, but I roasted that. I, uh, I know. going to get up. I, I think I'd have to hold it a touch. I like holding it. Yeah, uh, I like that, though. I, I like, uh, you know, a comfortable one of those holding it. Off this uphill lie, I don't think I need to take anything off it, though, holding it. Well, I can tell you he's got 192 okay. yards, Mickelson. It's not a shot you can go long on. Yeah, maybe just a touch. Just huh? a hair. Gotta keep it under the hole. He's hitting a six iron. Well, I think he's gonna hold it. And the last one on the 11th went through the green. That is not a place to go. Just cutting it a fraction. Hold it straight against what wind there is now. It's a lovely shot. 25 feet, but another pure strike. Pretty much straight at the target. Straight across. Straight across. Hasn't dropped a shot today, Phil Mickelson. Three bodies and an eagle at the fourth. It's got a jumpy lie here, Henrik Stenson. It could fly here. 183. It's going with the big seven. It's okay, he might have been a little bit scared of the flyer over the back. I was going to say it's unlikely Phil will hold, but it's actually not unlikely to hold. <laughs> There's no other way to describe that other than magnificent. These players have great extension, both arms straight, way through impact. No wonder they can hit it so far and straight. Beef for birdie. Looks like he's aiming for it to fade a little. Oh. Oh. Good try. to the 18th and the 24-year-old Terrell Hatton. Stablick as himself now as a regular contender on the European Tour, still looking for his first win, and this will be another huge boost to his confidence. Second last week. His fifth Open, third time in a row he's qualified for the Open, and he's missed the cut every previous time. I didn't miss it this year. Well done, Terrell. Round in 68 in the final round. What a buzz that will be. Never experienced the weekend at an Open before. He has now, and he'll want some more. Johnson for par. Great to see two young guys, Johnston and Hatton, doing so well. This guy's broken through. Hatton's absolutely on the verge of something big, I'm sure. As we creep closer and closer to the clubhouse, the crowds are getting bigger and bigger. They're doubling every hole. It's something to behold. Quite a few stars and stripes out here as well, backing Phil. You're right, there's about 50-50 out here at the moment. Both parts are uphill and both parts are left to right.
Isn't it nice to see this very pleasant weather? Well, the final hose after all the rain and wind we've had in the last couple of days. Much more did it. A chance for Phil to take the lead now. It's been a while since I had that chance. to get to 17 under and take a one shot lead down the last five holes. Oh. 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 said the other ball had to go right to the hole. Jamie thought it did, we thought it did, he thought it did. Fortunately for him it didn't. Beautiful putt, though. Both players totally in control of the game. Two par threes in the last five holes. This is the first of them, the 14th. And terrific that both players acknowledging the support from the spectators. Lovely atmosphere out there. Real tension, but... Smile on their face as we go ahead to 16. Birdie putt for Garcia. <laughs> now tied fifth at four under. McGinley there. Making him on as we go back to the 14th tee. Nicholson's on her. Well, not so easy to get close here on 14. The flag on the left. Left hand bunker is to be avoided at all costs. You just might see the players just keep it. Right of the flag, but who's going to blink first? Six iron for Phil. And a surprising bogey at this hole yesterday afternoon in round three. It's going to take a bit of genius, Dougie. We've seen it all day from both players. It's just going to take one bit of genius over these last four holes. Fancy Stenson at 16, he can reach that green with the three wood from the fairway. Big advantage for him coming up. <clears throat> but this is only 14. Probably be able to carry the ditch, won't he, off the tee? No. Well, this yardage is spot on for Henrik's 7 iron. I think he needs to play between Phil's ball and the flag. Oh. 
This is right at it. Oh, a great iron shot. Almost over the top of the flag. This is the fourth shot for JB Holmes at 15. He was out of bounds. There's a boundary line down the right hand side, which he was over. Oh, goodness. That's all suddenly going horribly wrong for the American. He's trying hard to go out of bounds again, isn't he? Yeah. It's very expensive for JB Holmes. As we go to the beef, 15th tee. Oh, a yard short of 500 yards of this hole. Miss the bunkers, he obviously wants it to. It did. No, you never know. Difficult to tell what a lie's like from vertically above it. <laughs> 16 under par and a nine shot lead over JB Holmes. It'll be more than that in a moment because JB's going to drop shots clearly at 15. Rory McIlroy, round of the day, a 67. Young Tyrrell Hatton, a splendid 68. They're tied for fifth at the moment. Bill has not having a good day. He's never had a top 10 in a major. He's now clinging on to one. Strong finish by Miguel Angel Jimenez. Grillo and Woodland making progress. Lee Westwood a 68 and Jason Duffner a 69. But nobody playing the golf that the, the leaders are. Garcia on the 17th, 221 yards to the pin today. Go, 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 go! I think he wants it to go. Well, it's not too bad there. JB's ventured off to the right, found his ball. This is his fifth. <laughs> That's a shot. <laughs> well, he's going to make double somehow. I thought he was going to go for about ten at one point. It's going to leave Steve Stricker in third place, though. And the gap will be 10. Yeah. Just remarkable, Mark, isn't it? Just the quality of the golf these two have played. It's, there's no praise too high. No, they're making the course look easy, and it isn't. And that's, looking at the rest of the field is what the course is like. And uh, not these two. They are just playing uh, golf of an incredible calibre. Both got birdie putts on this. 14th hole, Jamie Spence is down there having a, a good rummage. Yeah, so is Phil. He's having a look at his greens book, these incredibly complicated maps of the greens, which the modern player uses. They confuse me, plus I can't see them with my eyes. That doesn't help. They're also 80 pounds a time, aren't they? That really hurts. Yeah, it's not the principle, it's the money. Are they holdable putts, these two? Absolutely, Jess. This is straight, I think, for Phil. Sort of holes cut in a valley, sort of slopes front to back at the front of this green and then the other way. So he's, he's right in the middle of that. So I think it's straight. Strike was good. Just misread it a bit.
Steve Tricker. Stricker, 15th. Has to get to seven under. A little aggressive, Steve. Trying to catch the leaders. What's the prospect for Stenson holding this, Jamie? It's a tricky one, Jess. It's just coming down the ridge here. And, and I looked at it and I just thought, I'd dribble it at right edge and hope for the best. But it's not an easy one. already what would he give for a seventh right here and he's got it wonderful putt from Henrik Stenson and once again he edges ahead of Phil Mickelson four holes to go Stenson by one well they were both interviewed uh at length, probably last night and today. And they both said they just wanted to play and not back off. And neither of them are backing off. They're both putting together superb rounds. Could easily, these two could easily produce the two lowest rounds of the day. What a roar. Five under for the day. We create to 66s. The top three in the leaderboard, all over 40. A good open for the experienced players. Steve Stricker's almost 50. JD went in the French a few weeks ago. He's 46. <laughs> you two should be making a comeback. We never left. <laughs> I'll cut it you, Sam. As long as you only like working a couple of days. I don't mind. <laughs> Suits me fine. High wages, Sunday bag. None of those big tour bags. Four holes to go. We should underline no Swedish male player has ever won a major. Four Swedish women have, including Annika Sorenstam, who's only won ten. Is this the rocket three wood? It is. Thought so. He can't reach the left bunkers with that. And that's where he'll be aiming. Three hundred odd yards to the left bunkers. And Jamie absolutely right. A mere 280 with that club. And it's just inch perfect. It's an exhibition match these two have put on the last couple of days. It's been an absolute delight to watch. I'd say you could learn something from these two, but actually the level of natural talent is so high that most people can't do this sort of stuff. Garcia, 17th. Four under at the moment. Has to get to five. Will it turn? No, it didn't turn. We saw Hatton hit almost the same pot from a much shorter distance. He thought it would go left to right, actually almost went left. It's just a par for Sergio. A couple under. 
four under. Tied fifth. Yeah, yet another good tournament in prospect for Sergio. Yeah. Johnston missed the fairway right into quite a bad lie, couldn't quite get to the green. Put it into the left greenside trap right up the face, so he hit quite a good bunker shot to here. Well, it's another shot gone for Andrew Johnston. He's just steadily leaking. Fourth bogey in the last eight holes. But he's still in the top ten, current, now in eighth position with that bogey. Top 10 automatically qualify for next year's Open, if not already exempt. So Stenson by one from Mickelson. A 10 shot gap then to Stricker. Holmes, that double at 15 hanging in there. But it's tightening up. Southgate and Sullivan, a couple of Englishmen, great tournaments for them. Grio, he'll have enjoyed his taste of links. I think it was his first open. It was. Reed's still out there. Fino, he's a prospect for an open. Tony Fino keeps up this sort of form. Westwood battling hard to get one of those Ryder Cup places. Jason Day, world number one. Just never quite happened for him this week. Spieth, former world number one. Good round today, but just too little too late. Ryder Cup captain, Darren Clark. A really good week's golf. Two perfect tee shots down 15. Three wood for Stenson, driver for Mickelson. Just the six yards between the two of them. piece of golf here with these two. It's just incredible to watch. Making this course look incredibly easy. I assure you it's not. There are bunkers everywhere. The rough's up. And they're slugging it out. 2-1-4 for the tall Swede. Between a 5 and a 4. If he hits a 5, he's really got to crunch it. So he's hitting a four iron, which makes sense. He can hold it up into the wind. And this pin back left, he can fly it all the way. I think compared to those scores on the caption, this is uh, three or four strokes better, Sam. Well, that looks high and cutty. Is it going to make it and hang on? Just about makes it, just about hangs on from 214 yards. It's not a shocker. No, four's a great score here today. Four's a great score on 15 any day. The tension will be building between these two as they get nearer the great prize. Doesn't look like it. They look so calm and collected, but duck on top of the water scenario. An awful lot going on underneath. Five yards closer, but he's going with a five here, Phil. He needs to really crunch this one. Be right. Another lovely shot from Phil. Really struggling to get that there, though. I mean, knocking on 210 yards of five iron, even for these boys, that's a fair old hit into what breeze there is. Not that warm either. Stricker's laid up in this pair. Holmes having a cut at it. Well, 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 it's contagious. What a shot from J.B. Holmes. Just made double at 15. It was a good double, let me tell you. He's 
out for Eagle. Sergio laid it back a bit, short of Norman's bunker. Fair old iron shot in. Now, on the green. Scenes bringing down 16 there, 15th green. It's iconic, the Open Championship. It's grandstands and almost like amphitheatres as we listen to the roar of the Stenson. Mickelson be right, he said, as soon as he hit it, so he's absolutely nailed it straight at the flag, but almost a club light. But if you look at that stuff just over the back left of the pin there, that's not the place to hit it. So. The thing is, Sam, they hit the ball the same distance, these two. That helps you. Now he's pacing this off here, Phil, to the green. He's still making notes, even at this stage. I hope we come back here soon. <laughs> this is one of the best. Isn't it though? Every aspect of about has been fantastic. The tented village where it is, the location of the, the compound car park, the job they've done on the traffic has just been quite phenomenal. I know Doogie mentioned it earlier, but it really is astonishing. If you think of any opens you've been to, what the traffic's normally like, St George's, Lytham, Burtdale, it can be very, very difficult to get in and out, but here they've organised it so well. Well done to the Ayrshire Constabulary. This would be a nice one to hold, Iggy. Oh, not bad timing. <sighs> you hate to jinx it by mentioning the words playoff, but... The four-hole playoff was first used here at Royal Troon in 1989. Best way to settle a, a tie in a major, I think. The fairest way. Let's hope we don't need it. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on! Oh, what a putt, Henrik Stenson! No! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, this, what a day, my goodness me. Send me some oxygen. Just magnificent. What class. What class. What a putt to hold at this time. And hardly a twitch of a smile, but inside he must be celebrating like you wouldn't believe. What a putt. Back to back birdies. 18 under. Now there's a bit of pressure on Mickelson. Let's have another look at this. Huge long putt, 40 feet, 45 feet. The speed was always there, it was always going towards it, and then it just went in. Oh my goodness, look at that face. Yes. Oh goodness, match play golf. Can't beat it. This is about a cup left to right for Phil, putting up the green. He can't, Jimmy, can he? He can. <laughs> Great attempt, he was never going to be short. Oh, what a blow to strike, Henrik Stenson. Paddy at 15 from all of 40 feet. That's going to be a two-shot lead. 
assuming that Phil knocks this one in, which I'm sure he will. <laughs> Two shot lead with three to play and the advantage at the par 5 16th. Looking good for Henrik Stenson. But we're taking nothing for granted. These two have just thrown wonderful golf shots at, at each other all day. It's been a joy to watch. It's not over yet. The old cliche never applied more appropriately. Watch the crowd on the grandstand. He's done everything else in the game. All he had to do was to win a major. Two clear. Three to go. You have to feel a bit for poor Phil. Five under par on the day. He's lost ground. Well, they pushed the tee up here today, 19 yards. That means it's only 275. We'll be back to Jamie in a moment as JB hits to 17. 221 yards. It's left, Jess, I'm afraid. It is indeed. Short sided himself. Just an iron for Stenson. Catch the fairway. And have his three wood in his hand. Perfection. It's just left of where that man in the red jacket is. About 25 yards short of it. Couldn't really have gone with much more club, Jamie. Phil's, Phil's got a gamble, Sam, hasn't he? He's got to get as close as he can to that ditch. It's 275. He's got an iron out, Jamie. Yeah, well, I think uh, his three woods too much, so he's going to have to really hit a flusher here. And it'll leave him about 280 if it's a really good one to get to the green. He can get there in two. Both kind of probably have something in the region of 250 something to the front, so they can reach. It's a, it's a fair old distance. You want to start hitting wides, and it's easily done from that distance. The 18th and Sergio Garcia for a closing birdie. Long way away though. One of the most popular players in the field. A lot of support for Sergio this week. Listen to the roar of this goes in. <laughs> 69 to finish for Sergio Garcia. Tied for fifth at four under par, along with Rory McIlroy and Tyrrell Hatton. Been on that list of best players not to win a major along with Lee Westwood for a long time. Henrik Stenson's been on that list too, but he might be about to come off it. Here's how it looks Stenson 18 under, Mickelson 16 under, and the rest are so far behind you can hardly see them. Steve Stricker at 7 under, winning the battle for third. JB Holmes coming back well after that uh, double bogey at 15, but he's two behind his countryman. Sorry, one behind his countryman. And it's Michael Roy, Hatton, and Garcia at four under. Big beef, Andrew Johnston. Two over for the round now. So 
still has third at the start of the day. Now back in ninth, four over for the round. Oh, oh, goodness, that was straight right off the club head. Ooh. Both playing up short of the barn. And both 279 to go. Well, Mickelson can reach, but he needs to. 264 to the front of the green, as Doogie says. 279 all up. There's a bunker that guards the pin, so he's going to have to keep it to the left of that. Breeze is almost gone. Well, we didn't expect anything else. Just a 25 foot of an eagle for Mr. Mickelson, who's two behind. Pressure's back on Stenson. Over to you, Henrik. Same yardage, same club. Should be plenty of club for Stents in this. I'm guessing he'll take it in from left to right. Looking for his ninth birdie of the day. Oh, that's oh, left though. Oh dear. Not as bad as it looks. He's got the whole green to play with. It certainly doesn't look as good as Phil Mickelson's. What a wonderful shot from Phil. He just held on to that one a little bit, didn't he? Fooled it left slightly. Ahead at 17, the par three. Steve Stricker missing the green left. Oh, oh no, it's coming back to his feet. Stricker at seven under, alone in third. JB Holmes, even with his OB at 15, is very close behind him. One shot. Another to see Phil still taking the time to acknowledge the comments and the encouragement from the crowd. Just terrific. So Mickelson will have a putt for Eagle. And you wouldn't bet against him holding it. Not, uh, not in the light of everything else that's happened today. Bumping this one into the bank. Got to stop. Well, that was very clumsy. He's doing his best not to finish third. JB Holmes is down there as well. He's six under. He's seven under, looking like double back to five. JB Holmes bogeys it. He'll be five. Both will be on their own in third. Just the 13 behind the leader. That was a 10-shot margin in 77, a jewel in the sun, wasn't it, when Hubert Green won the other tournament? It's going to be more than that here, I think. On, 
He's got a lovely line. Look at that. You can see right in behind the ball. Down grain as well, isn't it, Sam? He's been uh, fortunate there. Well, at least he's got the grass with him, Henrik. It's pretty heavy, though, the lie. But he hasn't got to go over the bunker. That helps him. He could run it out. I think he'll play the lofted sandwich and just lob it onto the green and let it release up to the flag. How near do you think he'll get it, Jamie? Well, not being a gambler, I'm going to say he's going to get it too. Eight feet. Yeah, I think that's a... It shouldn't be outside that. It's uphill, sort of past the flag. And to the right. I think three feet. Yeah, I think somewhere between the two. It's um, it's not that difficult a shot, even, the, even as he's clambering through knee-high rough. These guys are extremely good at these sort of shots. Six feet past, gorgeous shot though. It did not miss the hole by much. Four feet problem. A tickler off the left edge. Different angle to see it here. Kick hard, you heard him say it. Well, it did, Henry. <laughs> You're pretty close to three feet, Sam. Looked looked further from the other camera. But yeah, three feet uh, might be between three and four, but overall pretty darn good. Now the question is, is this holdable, Jamie? Definitely. There's a rule though, never gamble with torrents. As I've learned <laughs> to my cost. <laughs> you are absolutely right. Before you know it, you've lost a whole heap of cash. Dead straight, this up the hill, he will really fancy this. Mickelson. You could hear a pin drop out there right now. Can it be? Sorry, I miscalled that. I thought it was falling in the front edge, Diggy. Did you know? How did it not? That looked on all the way. A little bit like he's put for the 62 on Thursday night. That's amazing because it jumped quite high quite early in its roll and, and God, looked as though he meant it all to happen. Oh, let's have another look at this. An eagle putt for Phil Mickelson. To get alongside Stenson, at least for a moment, Stenson still with a birdie putt to come, and here it's in. Ah. I mean, two feet short of the hole, the ball is three inches right of the hole, and it misses left from his view. A valiant attempt, valiant attempt. And it leaves Stenson with a three and a half, four footer. Two up, two to play. <laughs> it was close. Oof. So now Stenson has this to retain his two shot lead with only two to play. This is a big putt. If uh, he holds this, Mickelson's got to make something happen, and it's quite difficult on the last two holes here at Troon. But if he misses it, it's one shot is nothing. A mistake or a birdie. Yeah! No mistakes there. 
Magnificent Henrik Stenson, 19 under par. The lowest score ever shot in an Open. And that was on a par 72, this is a par 71. Ninth birdie of the day for Stenson. Four birdies and an eagle for Mickelson, no bogeys. What a show from these two. It's well, truly mind-blowing. But Stenson now has one birdie for the lowest score ever in a major. He's now on, he's now on 63 at 8 under for the day. I mean, to do that in the last round of an Open, is he 7 under? I thought he was 9 birdies, 1 bogey. Two bogeys. Two bogeys, he did the 2-3 yeah. putts, sorry. Hey. He'll probably birdie the last two. I was going to say, would you bet against him birdieing 17 and 18? But this has just been world-class golf. I mean, it's world-class sport. I don't care, even if you don't like golf very much, you cannot help but be captivated by this. This was just a couple of moments ago. Steve Stricker trying to get away with a bogey at 17. But it's a double, and he drops to five under, and he's behind JB Holmes again. Holmes third, Stricker fourth at six and five under, respectively. Unbelievable. Nine birdies in 16 holes for Henrik Stenson and a two-shot lead with two to play over Phil Mickelson. One of the all-time great contests in the final round of a major championship. J.B. Holmes winning the other tournament at the moment. The other good scores today, 67 admittedly from Rory McIlroy, but 68, 69, 70. These two both on course for 64, 65 or better. Disappointing finish for Tony Finau in his first open. Big American shooting a 74 today, still top 20 though. Darren Clark, a 70. Podrick Harrington, two-time champion, finishes with a 72. Martin Keimer and Francesco Molinari playing together, both 74. Not really been Adam Scott's week. 71 finishes down the field. Ricky Fowler never really in it. Again, one of those players that just got unlucky with the draw, had to play in the worst of the conditions. Matt Kutcher was in the picture for a while, but falling away at the weekend. And Danny Willett, the Masters champion, never threatened to add another major. So, two to go, the par 3 17th and the long par 4 18th. Two shot lead for Stenson. Well, it's 221 today, can't go left. That flag is cut really tight to that left, and it falls away that side. Stenson's going with a four iron. He's going to be pumped up. Much wind into his face, Jamie? Very little now, Jess. It's just off the left, but hardly a breath. Well, it should be plenty of club for him, a four iron. So, uh, yeah, pumped up. Just to make sure he doesn't rip it over the back. Come on. Can you say? As good as it gets. Poor Phil. I'm going to give up golf after watching this. You were advised to anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, Phil's going with the same club, four iron. Get inside that, Phil. You know, he just might. <coughs> no, Mr. Green. And down the slope. And further down the slope. And now it is looking awfully good. That makes a massive Sorry, Doogie, that makes a massive difference trickling down that slope. 
You sort of putt from the front, you not too difficult to two putt. But from down there, that's a really tough up and down. Stenson just got a little glimpse of the trophy there as he came off that tee in his head. He'll quickly block it out and get back to the job in hand, finish it off, but he's so close he can smell it. What a shot this was. Look at that shot. Under this pressure, 200 net yards, four iron, just out of this world. And you know what, Sam? The 62 might just be on now. Unbelievable. We all suspected it was a two-horse race. No one was going to make a run at them. I don't think anybody thought they would both play such magnificent golf and to be lapping the rest of the field. Well, in normal circumstances, you'd be giving Henrik Stenson the claret jug. But these are not normal circumstances, and given what we've seen already today, who knows what might yet happen, but it's looking awfully good now for the first Swedish male major champion. Well, Phil's got a good lie here. But not much green to work with. He's looking at the bank. He bumped it into the bank the other day. We just watched the uh, streaker down here, Jamie. He tried to float the first one, came back to his feet, and then bumped it into the bank, knocked it about 18 feet past, so it's not easy. Yeah, it's just what you fancy, isn't it, Sam? <laughs> but the hard thing here is you've got to hit it hard enough to get up the hill. He, he can't possibly let it come back to his feet. So he's got to hit it hard enough to get up and reach the hole. So. And it's a bit fluffy up that bank, so if he plays that shot, which I think he's going for, he's going to have to be quite firm here. <laughs> he's got a lot of loss, so he's going to have a lot of spin on it when it hits. Too much. And here is Stricker, the 18th, birdie putt. Shot behind JB Holmes, who he's playing with for the... Oh, no, no, no. Should be a safe par for Stricker. Great tournament for the 47-year-old Stricker. 49, sorry, yeah. He's getting older by the minute. Yeah, I think pretty much Champions Tour um, very early next year. How quickly this has changed the last 10 minutes. Oh. It looks certain to be a playoff 20 minutes ago, and then incredible birdie birdie from Stenton, and a shot at 17, and now Phil struggling for par. You wonder whether it's the realization is just beginning to dawn on Phil Mickelson. It's it's gone. That not really much he can do now. Best he's going to make par here. Stenson with a very makeable putt for birdie. Yes, I think Phil has to sense here that things are done. Well, he he has to hold and 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 obviously Stenson has to miss two shots. It's not over. Three's very comfortable. Four's a mile. <laughs> oh, you, you just can't be surprised, can you? No praise too high for Phil Mickelson. He makes his part.
points in the wall of the punt for a three shot lead. Let's nip ahead to 18. JB Holmes. That's good enough though for third place. The man from Kentucky. It's his eighth Open Championship. It's only the third time he's made the cut. And he's going to finish best of the rest. This to win the Open. second so it's a two shot lead coming down the last it could have been more it isn't brave putt from Phil Mickelson brave putt problem with 18 for Phil is that uh, Henrik can hit it towards that right hand trap and it's really quite a big target uh, just hit it up there 280 with his three wood and not a particularly small green either Steve Stricker at the age of 49 finishes with a 69 and fourth in the Open. Well, it's what you dream of, a two-shot lead on the 72nd tee in the Open Championship. I was always dreaming of being seven ahead, doing it just to make sure. <laughs> and you were never greedy. <laughs> I was never certain. That wonderful line of yours and all those dreams and all the opens that you won, the same man was second every time. Jack Nicholas. Well, this man has been one of the stars of the open. Andrew Johnson got his first win in the European Tour just a couple of months ago in the Spanish Open. And now he's become a real cult figure in the US. They love him in the States. And, well, we've heard of many fans he's got in this country. Now look for a lot more fun with Andrew Johnson in the years to come. Small teeing area here. Away. Thank you, please. And with Mickelsman left hand and Svensson being right handed, they're on opposite sides of the tee. Got a wee bit cramped when the man's over the ball. What a scene down the 18th stands are packed. Got to be pretty emotional for Stenson. He's going to have to keep his emotions in check for 10 minutes. He's got a job to do. And there's some bunkers down here waiting. He can't reach the one down the right. I've got to presume he's got the three wood, fellas. He has, Jimmy. And very unusually, his last one with this was a big hook at 16. He can't hear me, so I'm not planting a seed of doubt. You're right, though, there's quite a bit of room down the right-hand side, and that's what he'll be thinking. Just hit it that right-hand bunker. Easy, isn't it? As usual, all the way round, there's been bones on one side and Lordy the other. It is a bit claustrophobic on these tees. Absolutely. Beautiful. Oh, no, he's not done a Greg Norman. Oh, he very nearly did a Greg Norman. Greg drove into that bunker in 1989. He doesn't know. 
It just finished on a wee die. He doesn't know that it's short. He's not certain it's short, but it is, Henrik. It's absolutely magnificent. What a distance he's hit that, Doogie. How did it keep running? <laughs> we haven't seen anything go far up there. Fabulous drive from Phil. It's a good 40 yards behind Henrik's ball. That was just pure adrenaline. It can't be anything else. I just never stopped running. The three of us, I turned around, the three of us were just looking at the screen where our mouths wide open. We couldn't believe where the ball was going. It looked like it was actually good. Have another look here. It looks like it's going to go in at the very last second. 310 yards to this bunker, and he's at three wood. Pitched it about 270. What's that? A foot? 18 inches? Pretty much. Oh. It's the nicest bit of real estate he's ever seen in his life. <laughs> Just astonishing. And uh, the engraver, Gary Harvey, former pro himself. His dad, Alex, did the job for many, many years. Gary played the European Tour, and he will now be setting about his business. He won't be putting Henrik's name on it yet. He'll be putting Royal True in 2016. He could go backwards, couldn't he? Because he could start with an N and then an O. <laughs> you need to start with the N and O for Mickelson much further to the right. <laughs> I'd just space him out a bit. Come on, Beef. Listen to the roar of the hills. Oh, how could you let the people down? What a day for the 27 year old Londoner, Andrew Johnston. Beef. Seventy-three for Johnson, seventy-five for playing partner Bill House, who drops from third to nine. Still his first top ten in a major. They'll finish eighth and ninth respectively. Well, it's just remarkable. Phil Mickelson, starting the day one off the lead, is six under par, and it's not going to be enough. He's he's lost, two yeah, he's lost two, ground. <laughs> well, he's two shots better than anyone else in the field. And he's lost ground on the leader. It's extraordinary. Let's listen to this. Funnily enough, that second showing of Henrik extension, it, it looked more like it was going into that bunker. It seemed to be travelling faster from that overhead camera. His wife Emma, they're from Sweden. But they met in America in university. Married ten years later. Um, in between seven and eight. Uh, yes, but uh, I really I really don't see a yeah, scenario to get it. I kinda like like pills in a seven. I exactly. One eighty six left for Phil. He'll be going straight at it. And if anything, the wind's helping him now. Off the left, flags tight right. Well, I think he needs to hold it. At least we haven't had to wait for Bones to go up and tend the pin. That did happen in the Irish Open one year. Well, not with Bones, but... Back. I think the stuffing's been knocked out of him, to be honest. He's taken blow after blow after blow from Henrik Stenson today. He's parried most of them, but in the end, Sweet has his opportunity. Yeah, the, the birdie at 14, the monster putt at 15, the birdie at 16 from the rough. Ah, 
Just astonishing. One five four, and he's got the wedge. There's no way he's going along here, fellas. No, not without a bounce behind. And now he really can relax. Even Phil the Magician can't do anything about that. And Sweden at last has a male major champion, Henrik Stenson, on his first visit to Royal Troon. Take it all in, Henrik. There are some wonderful arenas around the 18th hole in the, in the world of golf, but for me, there's nothing quite like the 18th at the Open. Amazing feeling walking up the last hole of the open. And it's a, bigger now than it ever has been. The size of the grandstands, the numbers of people. You get goosebumps in your arms like eggs. Yeah. And even if Mickelson holds, Stenson will have two putts for the open. Which is not a gimme. He still probably won't want Phil to hold this, I can assure you. Mm. We've seen no one come close to holding uh, from here, I don't think. Everyone's missed left. And Phil's a little further away than most. But on the other hand, he's, he's putted about as well as anyone in the field. He's a bit better than most. Has to go in. Last chance for Phil. What a putt. Absolutely online. If he'd hit it, he'd hold it. Brilliant. Just rolling it up to make sure a second. No bogeys, no fives, 66. Five, six under. No praise is too high for Phil Mickelson. What a wonderful ambassador for the game of golf. The only consolation is that at least he has a claret jug. He's been an open champion. Gosh, we've been privileged to watch this today, haven't we? We certainly have. I don't think I've seen two players play like this since the duel in the sun in 77. You sometimes get one to it, but two. This to break the all-time record. 19 unders the record, this for 20. And he has! Not only is Henrik Stenson the Open champion, it's the lowest score anyone has ever made in the Open. 20 under par, what a performance.
a round of 63 with four bodies in the last five holes. He took everything Phil Mickelson could throw at him, and on the day, he was just too good. What a day's golf, what a performance, what a winner. Do you want to buy a plane? Oh, beautiful moment. Now, 77 was my first Open, first one I ever attended at Turnbury, the Jewel in the Sun. And I must admit, I never thought I'd ever see a better head-to-head -head battle than I did that year. But we just have. So proud of you. Lowest total, Diggy, lowest final round. He got them all, and now the engraver can complete the job. Henrik Stenson. Fourth consecutive time that the Shun Open winner has been winning a major for the first time. Mark Kalkovecchia, Justin Leonard, Todd Hamilton, and now Henrik Stenson. So there it is, the final leaderboard. Henrik Stenson, unbelievable. A 63, the lowest round to win an Open and the lowest total to win an Open. 20 under par. And he wins by two from Phil Mickelson with the rest a long, long way back. JB Holmes is third. Steve Stricker is fourth. And the long run of American success at Trun finally comes to an end. Well, he's always been a hugely popular character in the European Tour and indeed all over the world. And uh, his fellow players will be delighted for him, obviously, and they'll be lost in admiration with the, the golf that he's played today. It really has been utterly breathtaking. Matt Southgate there, one of the first to greet him. He's already won his major, beating cancer and getting back on tour and finishing inside the top 12. Andy Sullivan also broke 70 today. Miguel Angel Jimenez who will now head up to Carnoustie for the Senior Open Championship. Lee Westwood finishes strongly with a 68, Jason Duffner a 69. Jordan Spieth at the bottom there, 68. Jason Day, the world number one. An even par 71, he finishes one over par. And the evergreen Tong Chai Jai Di, another 46-year-old, 71 for one over. Sixty-nine for Russell Knox. Seventy for Darren Clark. The Ryder Cup captain. Outscoring many of his potential team members. Rodrigue Harrington, two time champion. Martin Keimer. Ricky Fowler a seventy three to finish six over. Danny Willett, the Masters champion, never really threatened to add the Open. He'll have plenty more chances. Mark Leishman, who was in the playoff last year when Zach Johnson won. Marco Mira, the oldest man in the field, 59 years old, 
A 73 for 10 over. Graham McDowell, 10 over. Paul Laurie, 10 over. Marco Dawson, the defending senior open champion. Made the cut, played all four rounds. Finished with a 74. Not such good days for all those players towards the back of the field. Colin Montgomery achieved his ambition. He just wanted to qualify to play the Open on his home course and to play all four rounds. He did that. And Greg Chalmers of Australia brings up the rear after a disappointing 85. So Henrik Stenson, 20 under par. And alongside me, Mark James, well, we're just... Absolutely stunned by the quality of the golf we've seen. Totally stunned. Boy, Henry finishes is ridiculous. <laughs> the, the shots he hit right through the round, and to be honest, Phil was pretty much up with him. Henrik held more putts, I think, than Phil today, but there was very little in it. Just incredible stuff. Huh? 63 and 65 from these two. Under pressure, leading the Open. Two lowest rounds of the day, comprehensively. The first hug for Caddy Gareth Lord. Look at his reaction when the ball drops. I think 15 was the killer blow. That part from off the green when Phil was inside him. Yes, that was pretty cruel to Phil, that one, wasn't it? And then 14 was the sort of uh, icing on top. Well, for most of the day, he seemed to have the edge. He just went edge ahead of Phil, and every time Phil came back at him, you wonder whether it isn't going to happen, but it did wonderfully and in record breaking fashion. Birdies on 14, 15, 16, and 18. What a way to finish. These two will remember this week for a long time. Well, Phil did it to him at Muirfield, didn't he? Birdied the last four. Yeah. To beat Henrik by three. And how appropriate they should uh, walk off arm in arm. Back in 31, Stenson must have been the lowest back nine of the week. There's nothing quite like it, the Open Championship, and uh, whatever the weather throws at us, it's, it's just a unique golf major, it's a unique sporting event. And uh, having suffered in the wind and the rain, how nice that uh, the back nine for the leaders was played in lovely conditions. Well done, Henrik. We'll see you at Royal Birkdale 2017 for the 146th party. Open Championship. The presentation will commence in a few short moments to a worldwide television audience. These iconic yellow scoreboards are as much a part of the Open as as the golf course is. So the RNA officials, the Royal Troon Golf Club, and how well they've hosted us. Committee all taking their place. So it's almost time to greet the champion golfer of the year. No silver medal, of course, this year. No silver medal, of course, this year. No amateur made the cut. Yes, that's true. So it'll be a slightly shorter ceremony, but always an enjoyable one. Let's uh, wait for the presentation of the claret jug to our champion. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of my championship committee, I welcome you all to the prize presentation 
for the 145th Open Championship. Over four days, the players have endured everything that the west coast of Scotland's changeable climate can throw at them. From the idyllic first day to the monsoon conditions of Friday afternoon and the unrelenting weekend winds. Despite this, the players have managed to produce the most impressive standard of golf, epitomized by the battle that has been contested at the top of the leaderboard between Henrik Stenson and Phil Mickelson. Outstanding. <laughs> to allow our top players to perform on the best stage, it is necessary to provide a world-class golf course. Exceptional talent, expertise and fortitude are required to deliver the links in such pristine condition. And congratulations go to Billy McLaughlin, course manager, his greenkeeping team, and to Richard Windows of STRI for achieving this, often at the very early hour of 4.30 a.m. Well done, Billy. Our co-hosts this week, Royal Troon and the Ladies Golf Club Troon, have in so many different ways done more than we could have hoped to support this championship. I am sure you will be delighted to get your courses back, hopefully before this summer or as it winter ends. <laughs> no Open can be completed without the support of our partners, many volunteers, and the hugely talented and enthusiastic RNA staff. I thank you all. <laughs> Finally, I want to congratulate you, the spectators. Your knowledge, applause, and unceasing resilience provide the arena for these players to perform in. You are cru crucial to the success of the Open, and I thank you all. I will now ask Martin Slumbers to announce the prize winners, and Martin Chain, captain of the Royal Troon Golf Club, to present the trophy. Martin. Thank you, Peter. Ladies and gentlemen, the runner-up and winner of the Silver Salva, Phil Mickelson. With a score of 264, the winner of the gold medal and the champion golfer of the year is Henrik Stenson. Thank you very much. Wow, this will take a little while to sink in. We just finished, so uh, I'm just uh, still a little bit, you know, trying to find my bearings here. I want to firstly thank Phil for a fantastic battle. Seems like in the end it was uh, nothing gonna, not going to be anywhere else than, than between the two of us, and uh, 
We played some great golf and obviously delighted to come out on top this time. But thank you very much for a, for a great fight. There's a lot of people to thank. And uh, I want to thank my, my wife, my family, my team for all the support and all the hard work to make this possible. I want to thank the fans, the RNA, and my caddy, Gareth Lord, in particular. And I lost a dear friend on Wednesday morning back in the States with a battle against cancer for a few years. And I feel like he's been with me all week. He was a keen golfer. Mike, this one's for you. I think uh, we'll leave it like that. And I hope to see you all next year at Birkdale. Thanks for your support and safe travels home. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for your support this week. Travel home safely. Now, please welcome your champion golfer of the year, Henrik Stenson. Well, the Open is always such a, a special week, but uh, I think this week we've been particularly privileged. I don't think we'll... She's such a battle for the Claret Jug, as we've seen today, for a very long time. It's right up there with the famous duel in the sun between Jack Nicholas and Tom Watson in 1977 at Turnbury. But even that didn't end with the winner shooting a 63 for a record-winning total of 20 under par on a tough golf course. And you have to feel for Phil. I mean, 17 under par, 6 under par today and it still wasn't enough. They both played the most wonderful golf, and the gap between second and third was 11 shots, even more than it was back in 77. I mean, it's trite to say a popular winner, but Henrik is a hugely popular figure in the on the European Tour and around the world, Mark, isn't he? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's huge in, in all over the world, um, in the world of golf, obviously, but... Um, I think uh, it's among his peers. He's, uh, you know, you, you realise uh, how popular he is. Everybody likes Henrik. He, he's a man who is. He's a very funny guy. Um, a lot of people have a good sense of humour, but he's a funny guy as well. And, and the players love him. So um, to watch him take this championship is a, a real thrill for anybody who knows him. Uh, he is a, an amazing player. Hits the ball straight, high, long. But above all, today showed he has the nerve to win any event in the world. And you know, he found himself at age 40 winning this one. He could, he could pick a few more up in the next five years, no question. And like so many successful golfers, it's not been all ups. There's been some downs as well. There was a well back in the early 2000s when uh, Henrik had plummeted down the rankings, he'd lost his game. A lot of credit is clearly due to all his support team, particularly Pete Cowan, uh, who's been his coach for a long time. Uh, he'll be absolutely thrilled. After Henrik missed the cut in the US Open, Pete sat him down and gave him quite a talking to. It was Henrik who said that. He gave me a roasting for the way I'd played and my attitude, and uh, it's obviously done the trick. That was the winning putt, the putt which allowed him to win by three shots. And who would have believed with such a wonderfully close contest that in the end the winning margin would appear, on paper anyway, to be quite comfortable. It was anything but, but those 
Four birdies in the last five holes, and in particular the long putt at 15, I suppose, Mark. That was the one that, that really broke Phil's heart. Yes, I think the one at 14 was a, a bit of a blow for Mickelson, but 15 from sort of 45 feet, it was an absolute heartbreaker. And then it, it didn't help on 16 when Phil had a, an eagle chance that all but went in. And Henrik, uh, off a poor second shot, it has to be said, about the only bad shot he hit all day, to be honest, uh, in the left rough, uh, got it up to about eight feet or a bit less, five and a half feet, and hold it. And Phil's putt, I mean, was, was brilliant there. So, so that was a turning point. 17, it was sort of getting too late when uh, Henrik missed and Phil hold uh, from quite a way for par. By then, it was sort of the writing was on the wall, and I think Phil knew the writing was on the wall by then. Uh, and what Henrik did up the last, I mean, phew. That three would went so far. It absolutely nailed it. Nailed a wedge, nailed the putt. And uh, I just, uh, I am so thrilled for Henrik at the moment. It is unbelievable. It was just a sensational performance. Yeah, we promised you drama on the last few holes. We very nearly had drama on the 18th because that was literally 12 inches away from being bunkered at the last Henrik Stenson's drive. But Sweden. After all the success they've had in the women's game, all the wonderful players they've produced over the years and the contribution they've made to the, to the European Tour, at last have a male major champion. And Sweden's finest player is the man who breaks the duck, Henrik Stenson, as the Open champion here at Royal Troon. Well, it's only two weeks till the next major, so Henrik won't get too much time to sit back and reflect and enjoy it all because uh, he'll be heading for Balthas Roll along with most of the players in the field here to round it off. And then, of course, he'll be representing Sweden in the Olympics. So it's a summer to remember for Henrik Stenson. Thanks to you, wherever you are all over the world, for being with us from Mark James, Sam Torrens, from Laura Davis and Tony Johnston, Dom Hollier and Dom Belay, from Hutchie from Dale Hayes and, of course, from our one course man, Jimmy Spence and Van Phillips, and from me, Dougie Donnelly. Thanks for enjoying it all with us. It's been quite an open. Congratulations, Henrik, from Royal Troon. Bye-bye.